So I'd like to welcome everybody back for episode 10. That's one zero two digits. That is the longest I've carried any series on this channel, so we've hit a milestone today. Uh, even though it took us two weeks <laughs> since episode 9 to get another episode on the table. So welcome back. Uh, anyone who may be watching, thank you. We just finished clearing out the Vicky and Vance Casino. Um, we did it off camera. Uh, I'm planning on putting out something uh, once I can finish writing a script and recording a voiceover. Kind of playing around with the idea of trying to do some like rudimentary animations. But we're going to skip through probably like an hour and a half, maybe longer, of episode 9 and kind of do a voiceover and explain uh, episode 9 was a train wreck and I lost my I lost my mojo I lost all my momentum of keeping this series going because of how bad <laughs> episode 9 was I went back and listened to it and uh, it's it's been vaulted it will never be heard by anyone I need to actually make sure I take the VOD off of my twitch I'm gonna do that right now now that I think about it um, it, it cannot be, it cannot exist. It has to go away. It's just, uh, it was cursed. Where is it? Oh, cool. It's going away in two days anyway. It's, uh, just, uh, go away, go away, go away. Yeah, episode nine was a train wreck. If there's a game with gambling in it, I'm there. Hell yeah. Yeah, uh, well, I found out that when there aren't any viewers in chat to bounce off of, and I am getting frustrated and bored of the process of bouncing back and forth between the blackjack and, your, and roulette tables to try and maximize casino earnings, um, it is incredibly, incredibly unentertaining. Um, I've always kind of held to a philosophy that you shouldn't be recording or streaming something that you're not passionate about, and 100% I had, there was no passion, um, <laughs> it was awful, it was just like rambling that made no sense, I sounded like a, like a burnout stoner, I was saying like every, every third word, uh, it was not good, and we are going to vault that so that no one ever has to listen to it, <laughs> but, Roulette is the worst. Yeah, blackjack rocks. See, the reason that we were bouncing back and forth from the roulette to the blackjack table was we would get to... Uh, welcome back, Ledge, by the way. We would get to the earning limit of every casino playing blackjack. And then we would go to the roulette table and place the maximum bet on one number. Because the payout for getting one number with 200 caps or 200 chips on the table is 7,000. I've gotten a few surgeries, but as you can see, uh, we're sitting on a nice clean 54k right now. And we've cleaned out every casino in the game, aside from the Sierra Madre at this point. Um, and now it is time to get back to playing the game and not being bored while recording and maximizing uh, gains. Bad idea. Not going to do that ever again. <laughs> We've learned an important lesson. So now we need to pick a direction to walk in. I've been kind of thinking maybe we just go and do some random dungeons. Um, I've done a little bit of research in the interim, like here and there, at some point to figure out. I've figured out um, that Tale of Two Wastelands, by default does not have want to stream because you're bored but you're too much of a brand risk i have to be really careful um i notice a lot when i'm playing games <laughs> i say a lot of very unclean things when i'm angry and frustrated and i have to i have to be very careful not to do that when i'm recording uh so i i 100 understand that um I haven't slipped up yet, <laughs> but it could happen. 
So a lot of uh, so I'm not going to be able to play New Vegas's post game without a mod. Uh, I, I did a little bit of research. Tale of Two Wastelands does not have a any kind of like prepackaged mods to it that are going to allow me to play New Vegas post main story completion. So we can continue to pursue the main story of New Vegas, but we would need to stop at some point. Some of your friends stream, you tried to ride the line. I feel that. Yeah, I feel that. Uh, I think I'm in the opposite boat where I wanted to drag a lot of my friends along to stream like multiplayer games as a group. And um, a lot of them uh, just weren't up for it. And then when I found a friend who wanted to stream, um, I was like, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck. <laughs> I'll get, get this out of the way before we got to do, like, did you see all those guys coming? We got a big fight on the way. Uh, I was in a really dark place. Um, it kind of happens just like continuously all the time uh, I just like go in and out of bouts of just being in a really bad place mentally um, and so I I told this sob story to a work friend of oh nobody wants to stream with me I got him to stream with me um, we played it takes two uh, that's on my uh, archive channel if anybody wants to check that out it's not gonna happen again uh, we don't really talk anymore uh, because <laughs> I just, every time he was like, hey, you want to, uh, follow up on that, I was the one who wouldn't do it. Um, so, not only do I fucking complain about a problem, but then I contribute to the problem, so I'm a fucking piece of shit. Jackson, if you ever hear this, I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. Let's kill some of these guys. So I'm gonna have to, I want to play some more of the main story of this game, but we're gonna have to stop it. We're gonna, it takes two uh, to make a thing feel right. It takes two to make it out fine. Yeah, I just, uh, I thought that I, I think the, the biggest problem is I can't stick to a schedule. Um, and I think, uh, I think I'll get better about that as time goes on, but just like, listen here, Mr. Ballistic Fist. Alright, I'm ballistic pissed at you, okay? Die, profligate. Die profligate! Fuck you. You ever hear that song? It slaps. I don't think so. Whenever I hear of a song that kind of revolves around two, I, I think of uh, just the two of us. Just the two of us. We can make it if we try. Just the two of us. I fucking love that song. Just the two of us. Shit. I picked up the ripper. I don't want the ripper. I was fucking like going hard singing uh, fucking MCR songs <laughs> on the way back from work today. So I kind of tore up my, my throat a little bit. Praetorian armor. It looks like that could probably be worth a pretty penny if we repaired it back up. And now that we have jury rigor, we can pick up a lot more things that we might have avoided picking up before because uh, the list, it's a mid 2000s, late 90s song. Uh, do you know who, uh, you know which artist did it? So uh, we can pick up a lot of the armor off of these guys because uh, yeah I mean we probably we may have been able to repair it all together before but now we know for sure uh, most of these armors are likely going to be able to um, combine whether or not they could before we should be able to pick up a lot of things that we may have avoided picking up before see like I can use this Vexillarius armor to repair my combat armor which makes me think maybe the Vexillarius is the best, like the most valuable out of all these. So veteran armor. Yeah, the Vexillarius armor is probably the best one. 
I'm gonna see. We also have to be careful though. Had a lot of hooting and hollering in it. You can hear it. I'll listen to it. I'll uh, I'll try to remember it after the stream and I'll listen to it. Um, let me look it up real quick. It takes two to make a thing go right. Uh, okay, it's uh, Easy E. Or no, DJ Easy Rock and Rob Bass. Alright, cool. Always interested to find new hip hop. Repair that. Reinforced leather. See, okay, we can sell this for 300. We can sell that for a good amount. I think, yeah, I picked up that axe because I knew I could use it to repair Oh Baby. We'll hold on to it for a little bit. It's not that heavy. Can't repair this battle rifle. But I can repair this sawed off. I've got a 44 Magnum. A sawed off and a 9 mil. So the 9 mil's worth 78. I'm going to do a little bit of baby math here. Okay, so the 357 is not that valuable. I know that the 44 is. And the sawed off seems to also be valuable. So. And then like the 9 mil. So let's keep the sawed off and the 44. Pull one of those. So now we've got a sawed off worth about 150 and a magnum worth about 250. So profit, 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 profit. That is what uh, jury rigging is all about. I wonder if any of these guys see 10. I don't think the helmets are gonna be worth picking up. Let's eat these guys. That's a clean 100 health for the whole uh, assassination squad. It's been a long time since I've heard Grog eat a man. I missed it. We're going to get our streaming mojo back. We're going to... Still can't promise that I can keep to a streaming schedule, but... We're going to play Grog again. We're not going to... I focus on my failures and my shortcomings a lot. I hyper-focus on them. That episode 9 really fucked me up mentally and made me avoid uh, playing this for a while. In the meantime, though, I played a lot of Dragon's Dogma. Love that game. Love, love, love that game. You've been listening to 80s funk for some reason. Listening to a lot of Cool in the Gang. I actually, on Monday... Um, I kind of had a thought to see if anybody had, like, compiled playlists of, like, classic rock. I want to get more into, like, I, I started off, I was talking to a co-worker. I saw a scorpion. I'm going to kill it. I was talking to a co-worker, and she was recommend. She was wearing an Alice in Chains shirt, and she, like, you know, was like, oh, this shirt's pretty cool, right? And I'm like, oh yeah, it's a good shirt. I've never listened to the band. I had her recommend me a few songs. I started listening to Alice in Chains, and I was like, okay, this is pretty good. And then I kind of thought about it. There's a thing I think about a lot where it's like, there's a lot of classic rock that I've missed out on. Classic rock, classic metal, and I want to listen to more of it. So then I'm thinking about it, and I'm like, okay, I really like JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Uh, so I should try and listen to some of the songs that inspired Iraqi while he was writing it that a lot of like the stands and the villains have been named after. And I actually found a playlist that somebody made. It's like, like probably like 500 songs. Uh, that's like Jack Rabbit Springs. Oh my God, it's a fucking centaur. Let's just aimlessly explore. Classic rock, that's my jam. Hell yeah. Yeah, so I started listening to this playlist that's like uh, anything that is a named reference uh, from, like, one of the, like, part one through eight of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, this person picked, like, either, like, the songs that the namesake comes from or the artist that the namesake comes from. And if it's, like, an artist, it's, like, you get to listen to two songs from that artist back to back. And so, like, that was, that was awesome. I listened to so much shit that I hadn't heard before. And a lot of shit where it's, like, I actually had heard it and had forgotten it, or, like, I knew the tune and the chorus, but didn't realize, you know, oh, this is from blank. You know, like, this is a song from, I don't know, fucking Hall and Oates. Actually, uh, I need to listen to more, um... Oh, I'm not gonna remember the artist's name. It's how you found 
the Fleetwood uh, Fleetwood Mac song Tusk. I don't know if I've listened to Tusk, but I do enjoy Fleetwood Mac. Let's eat some guys. We're not going to use any healing items. We'll eat some guys, get back to full, and then anything that would be overlap, we'll use that to... Yo, always collect playing cards. This guy's got two playing cards. But we'll start collecting pieces for meat people. Actually, right now we're building a meat bathtub. Or we're filling a meat bathtub. So we're not... That's what we're worried about grabbing meat shards for. REO Speedwagon is the most egregious name. Hell yeah. Robert EO Speedwagon. Speedwagon is best girl. But, uh... There's like, uh... I forget that... It's like a group of, like, I think three people... Uh, made a song... Like, uh... They, they do, like, Prague... Made a song called Tarkus... And that's, like, uh, the reference that, like, uh, Tarkus from, like, the duo, like, Tarkus and Blueford, uh, from part one w was, like, referencing. But I listened to, like, that song, Tarkus. It's, like, an eight-minute-long prog song. And, oh, my God, I was jamming. That was, it was so good. I love prog. I, like, I will listen to anything that's prog. Progressive rock, progressive house. I love it all. I, after I listed two things, I say I love it all. Sup? Damn, it feels like these guys kind of like came into a pre-established base of some sorts and killed everybody who was in here. What is this? The Prospector's Den? Full of a bunch of dead prospectors? Yeah, I, I think I hit the money on that one. Ario Speedwagon has some badass songs. I gotta remember what songs they had. Let me look it up real quick. What songs they had on that playlist from REO Speedwagon. Um, let's see, it would be called uh, Hirohiko Araki's Bizarre Playlist. Hirohiko, Bizarre, Hirohiko Araki's Bizarre Playlist by Blue Jolene, if anybody wanted to look it up. Let's see, they had uh, Keep On Loving You and Time For Me To Fly by REO Speedwagon. Uh, were like uh, the the two first Speedwagon songs that showed up on the playlist. I don't know if there will be any more, but those were the ones I've listened to so far. So it seems like these Prospector guys are going to give me a lot of playing cards, which is cool. I want more of those. Let's take that Silence 22. We might be able to use it to repair something else. Dio is a good name and band. You forget the Pillar Man names, though. Uh, it's Cars, the Cars, uh, Wham, Wamu, Wham, uh, ACDC and Santana, technically, if you count the first one. All really good. Actually, I have mixed feelings about ACDC. I'm not a fan of Axl Rose. No, that's Guns N' Roses. That's Guns N' Roses. <laughs> I don't want to say something fucking completely wrong and like glaze over it. I'm not a fan of Axl Rose. Not a fan of Guns N' Roses. Don't, do not like uh, the way that he sings. Araki has impeccable taste in music. I agree. The playlist is actually like kind of bizarre and jarring because like it's so varied. Because you, you go from like a fucking Queen song to a Led Zeppelin song kind of shit. It's good though, it's good. I would highly recommend it. You know, okay, so this guy's gun was the gun that was propped up against this rock, but the way that it was perfectly propped up against that rock had made me th assume that it was like the developers placed the gun there. So that was, that's, that's, that's a little humorous. That's a little funny. Okay, I think we, so we don't want to consume any banana yucca. Because we can use that to make that one drug that we haven't made any of that I want to make some of so let's drink our dirty water he's just like me for real seriously though yeah i've been trying to branch out build new playlists listen to more music lately uh even if it's stuff that i just haven't listened to in like years just trying to listen to more of it 
like I'm putting together like a playlist of like all the music I used to listen to when I was like a sad teenager so I can listen to it now that I'm a sad adult. Got like a uh, Death Cab for Cutie, The Smiths, a couple of like fucking Joji songs. Forget, uh, now I'm putting like MCR in there. Did I get any cards? You got any cards, lady? No. Silenced 22. I suppose I should be picking up the barrel cactus fruit. Minus one endurance, but it's so-so. Ah, I've got too much water to worry about that sort of thing. So we got nothing to repair here. We've got a lot to repair here. Don't need to repair that. 10 mil pistols are great, but 10 mil submachine guns are better. But we could repair it with our Silence 22s. Silence 22s are worthless. Aw, oh, man. We can't put fucking Smith's lyrics in the chattel. I want to sing them. I fucking love the Smiths, man. Okay, so I think the battle rifle is going to be our most money, our best money long arm, so we'll repair that one up. 300. The sawed off was worth a pretty penny. We'll use a 9 mil. It's 175. So now we've got some 10 mils that we could repair. We could still put one more of them into the 10 mil submachine gun. And I think at this point kind of out because like okay I can repair this 10 mil with a 10 mil I missed a click on that I guess all right been getting to like old country Marty Robbins and Johnny Cash old country is good country like honestly the only oh what's up oh there's more of you huh stand up grog What do you mean they killed him? Did you say that as you died or is there another person here? <laughs> it was the former. Folsom Prison. Is that a song or a group? I haven't listened to a lot of Marty Robbins or Johnny Cash. I'm open to listening to more. I just haven't listened to a lot up until this point. Sunset Sarsaparilla, don't mind if I do. Man, they fucking opened up. They lit me up. It didn't do any good for them, though. Sprickety, sprickety, single shotgun. I can use that to repair my cowboy repeater, which I think is worth more, right? My cowboy repeater. Worth 26, my single shotgun worth 52. Maybe the shotgun's worth more, just in general. Slurp, 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 slurp. You would also recommend El Peso, it's a three part story. So I'm assuming then that would be El Paso. Uh, I'm assuming that would be Marty Robbins, like Big Iron, Folsom Prison, El Paso. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty open to getting into older country. Like, I just can't dig, like, modern country, pop country. It's it's bad. It's real bad. It's not good. Tumblr's Today. Tumblr's Today is a dead website. Folsom is Johnny. Okay, so that's a three-part Johnny Cash story. Well, I had a 50-50 shot, right? <laughs> Metal armor. Too heavy. Food to loker, food to loker. And now we eat. And now we feast. Let me use my my eating time as texting time like I always do. Yeah, I only know like maybe two or three Johnny Cash songs and one of them's a cover, <laughs> so not helpful. 
Although, I can thank Johnny Cash for getting me into Nine Inch Nails. Thanks, Johnny. Really, uh, really enjoy Nine Inch Nails, actually. I would have one of the radio stations, uh, like, in this game, like, on my Pip-Boy at all times, but I have a feeling if, you know, I don't, I don't know how you explain that badly. Folsom is a single story song, but El Paso is the beginning of a trilogy of songs by Marty Robbins. Okay, so I was, I was like, I was like 50% right, 50% wrong, what do you know? I haven't heard any songs by Marty Robbins or Johnny Cash that I haven't enjoyed, so they're definitely artists that I could uh, see myself trying to get more into. I'm somewhat a music nerd. We're definitely like, uh, most of our music knowledge seems to be kind of different areas, but like that was, uh, I always kind of... When I'm meeting new people, I like to introduce myself as like, uh, I'm a music guy. It's kind of my thing. So uh, that's what I did. Like I listened to a lot of, listened to a lot of music, read a lot of books. But I also grew up uh, in a household where, like, playing video games and watching TV wasn't really kosher. So that was that was all I had. Let's get some repairs in. Okay, we can't repair that any further. And I can't use the leathers to repair that. So I just got some shitty fucking leather that I can't do anything with. It's only worth nine. I think I'm gonna drop it. I think, I think I'm gonna drop it. I don't think I need to take it with me. Yeah. Also got a little mug of fun juice with me today, so I'm gonna take a few sips of that whenever I whenever I feel like it, take a little sip of fun juice while I'm repairing some stuff. <sighs> yep. Yep. Oh yeah. I, I definitely uh I'm not bad with with my alcohol, you know. Okay, I'm actually, I have a really high tolerance to funny juice. I just, uh, don't do well with, like, hard liquor. Um, the taste and the burn, I, you know, like, I know a lot of people, it's like, uh, something that you, you know, it's like, like a lot of people say, like, uh, you have to develop a taste for beer, which is true, I agree with that. Um... I have not yet developed a taste for hard liquor. I, I never really had much of a, like, boozy party phase, and I've always had, like, a, a mixer or a chaser if I had to have hard liquor. But I'm trying to develop my my taste for, like, whiskey. And, uh, never had brandy, but I, I suppose I could try it. I know that I enjoy gin. Although I always would, like, have gin with, like, lime. Gin with lime fucking slaps, I'll tell you that right now. Especially if you get, um... Oh, I forget what quinine does for tonic. Like, if you want tonic without, with or without quinine. I forget which one tastes better. So right now... I know, like, when I kind of looked at my quests log earlier, I was being attacked by assassins. Let's, uh... So we've got all our DLCs down here. We have a quest for Eddie, which I don't really want to work on, because I'm not going to carry any companions with me. I think we decided... We have we have decided is good for malaria. I know tonic used to be, like, medicinal, so that makes sense. Like, it used to be considered a medicinal drink. So, we have decided we don't care 
if Rose of Sharon Cassidy dies because Grog is a, an atypical playthrough. In a normal, typical playthrough, I wouldn't be letting companions die. Grog doesn't care. That's what we've decided. So we can finish Birds of a Feather. We can confront Benny, we can talk to Mr. House, but I don't want to pursue the main quest of New Vegas. I've looked into it. Um, it seems like if I finish the main quest of Fallout 3, then I can with, cause like there are conflicts. If I install a mod that'll let me keep playing after I finish the main quest of New Vegas, it has conflicts with finishing the main quest of Fallout 3. Uh, so I'm going to finish the main quest of Fallout 3, then I'm going to look into my options on a mod that will let me keep playing in the New Vegas post game, and I'll find one that works for me and install that. Because at this point we've already established that we're okay is like installing more mods on top of our Tale of Two Wastelands, because cause old groggy boy here, we, even, we installed a mod so that old groggy boy can have his eye patch. Because Grog lost an eye. Thanks, Benny. I think we should at least get to the point where we get to have our revenge on Benny. And then we can turn off of New Vegas' main quest. Why is this a location? I, I figured I would... Emergency service rail yard. But you can't go inside. What's the point? What's the point of this place, huh? Huh? Kind of bouncing back. I mean, like, medicine. Medicine is a fickle industry. Watched a, uh, like, a long video about, like, the history of thalidomide. <laughs> like, it's fucked up. The, the fucking, it's Germans, man. It's always fucking Germans. It is, it's fucked up that, uh, the company that was, uh, marketing thalidomide, uh, got away with it. Like, scot-free, basically cucked the German government into paying them <laughs> reparations essentially for uh, giving like an entire generation of children like horrifying birth defects so good on you Germany good on you they just can't fucking catch a break a lot of it's self-inflicted but god damn so we should visit Alice McLafferty, because we haven't spoken to Rose of Sharon Cassidy, so we don't know where she is. Quinine helps... I'm going to fast travel while we, uh, while I read your comment. Quinine helps with malaria, so when the English uh, were in Africa, they took quinine, and it tastes like shit, so they mixed carbonated water and gin so it would taste good. That makes sense. It's the, the birth of the gin and tonic. A British staple of alcoholism. A hard boss, but she knows what she's doing, that's for sure. Whatever you say, random crimson caravan worker. Let's go speak with this. Actually, if you're looking to buy, what's up, Balake? I apologize. Let's sell. Well, Cause like we are in money machine mode now that we uh, can repair like anything with anything else so we're gonna have a lot of armors and guns kind of chad shit poison a whole generation of people and get the government of that country to pay you right like <laughs> and then uh there was like the munich massacre for the munich olympics yeah, i think in like the 70s where it's like they had warnings that a terrorist group was going to attack them, but they were like, no, no, no. We want people to know that Nazi Germany is over. So we're not going to have adequate armed uh, guards of this Olympics uh, and let this horrible like terrorist massacre uh, go down. <laughs> and, you know, be like, oops, saw we, we didn't mean to fucking Germans, man. Sledgehammer. We don't need... Let's not grab... Let's keep the axe. We'll sell this officer's sword. But we don't need anything from this guy in terms of, like, weapons for repair. Let's grab the doctor bag. Oh, 
Okay, so seeing a locksmith's reader here, I realize that tumblers today we picked up earlier is a skill book, so we'll read that as soon as we're done. Let me make sure if I buy purified. No, no, no. We'll just buy it all and put excess in our fridge at home. We don't need to. Psh, we have to fucking think about shit like that. I think we, we've sold everything that we can sell, right? Yeah. Let's take our profit and walk away. We don't need money. We've got 55k. I don't know why I'm trying to. I almost. Both. Both colloquialisms that I can think of for um, cheating someone out of money are racial slurs, so <laughs> we're going to avoid the statement that I almost just made. What's up, old bitch? Welcome to the Crimson Caravan Company, New Vegas branch. What may I do for you? The Germans. Leave them alone. They cause horrible tragedies, but make a fuel-efficient car, so it's kind of worth it. The Volkswagen does have swag. The Volkswagen, it's a good car. Like the the I like the the shape of it. It's a silly little thing. <clears throat> I'm looking for Cass. The Van Graffs told me to check in with you. Coincidentally, I'm also looking for her. I've got a business offer she'd be interested in. I believe <laughs> a business office outpost, business offer of here, near the shit border. like uh I actually well see that's the thing uh like the 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 word gypped I never put two and two together until like way too late that that's a slur against like gypsies <laughs> which I should have I you know like I should have but I, I never thought about it uh I guess so she just fucking said she she more or less said she didn't know, but then she told us where. She said that Cass frequents the Mojave Outpost. So let's go to the Mojave Outpost and look for Cass. Though, if it makes you feel any better, um, my first thought was not to say that I uh, gypped him out of a deal, so <laughs> it was worse. Hello. Anyone in here named Cass? Just look like looking over Grog's shoulder at Cass. Let me just sit down. You know, gypsy is like a slur everyone else everywhere else in the world. I didn't know that until late also. Yeah, I, I guess it's like uh, correct to say Romani, right? Or Roma? I don't know. Looking for trouble? I've never met one myself. I mean, like, if you see, like, uh, like, people in the Balkans online, like, I can't think of, like, a bulk, like, um, I don't know, just fucking Eastern Europeans fucking despise them. They're so racist against them. Grew up and lived in the South. I know some truly awful sayings. Yeah, same. Same. Southern United States? Because... That definitely colors your language. I I grew up with a a racist father, which you know you just you learn everything you need to learn having one of them. And I lived in Texas for like two or three years, so that doesn't help. Uh, just minding my business. Your business, huh? Now there's a store worth tending. What does that mean? You run along now. Judging by that busted pilot light expression you're fixing, <laughs> business ain't so good. She knows how dumb I am. She knows how stupid I am. I'm surprised you can see me from that deep in the bottle, you fucking bitch. Deep? Ain't deep by half. Closed down the bar yesterday, gonna close it again today. Rinse and repeat. Drinking to forget, <laughs> it's only getting me mad instead. Whiskey always gets my temper up now more than ever. Drinking used to cause all sorts of trouble back west. Before I punched enough people, that is. And they learned to lay low when the whiskey hit. Man, that whiskey is hitting, let me tell you, Cass. Texas. 
I think Texas has, I, I think, I feel like we've breached on this before. I feel like Texas has really awful lawmakers and it definitely has a, a percentage of the population in Texas are objectively like old fashioned bad people. But, um, I think that you lived in Oklahoma. Yeah. You got off easy for sure. I do believe in the existence of Southern hospitality. Like, uh, you know, like the, a lot of Southerners, um, aren't as uh, like as bad as like the stereotypes say, and they, they care about a person, uh, f as the person that they are not because of like superficial things about them. Like the, the term Southern hospitality exists for a reason. Um, but yeah. Uh, there are a lot of bad fuckers down there. <laughs> let's, let's keep talking to Cass. What are you trying to forget? Lost my caravan heading north. The driver burned to ash. And they didn't even take the cargo. They just I poured way too. too much whiskey in this mug. Fuck me. I finally watched, um, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas with, uh, my buddy Alex. It's his favorite movie. Um... And I thought I poured this amount of whiskey while we watched it, but um, it must have been less because, god damn. I'm like maybe halfway through this thing. I need to pace myself. I am pacing myself, but it could get bad. Hmm. It could have been fiends. They're crazy like that. My guess is Legion. They're I've never been through Oklahoma. Line, and the Mojave outpost is proof. So uh, I'm trying to remember the which area of the no U.S. it's in, in, like the stereotypes about it. Try arguing with Jackson about it. Roads aren't safe, he says. It could be. No shit, you washed out old fuck up. I didn't need a Brotherhood scribe to tell me that. Jesus, Cass. Wh how, what do I say to her to get that line about Long Dick Johnson? Okay, it's uh, next to Arkansas. Oh, it's right above Texas. Okay. So it's in the fucking flat plainlands of the United States. Fucking big rip. I have a uh, family in Missouri, so I I know that feel. I've met him. Nice impersonate. Not a nice impersonation, Grog, cuz she didn't sound like Liam O'Brien. Yeah. He's been with NCR so long, all he can see is the worst outcome of everything. Maybe I have so been through Oklahoma, it's the, if it's the state right Jackson on top of Texas. Let me head north. It's not safe. Been through its little, like, my penis gone, brick my that, like, shoots off to the east of it. Here. So if you came here for work, Anybody who's confused advice, by that statement, look up the shape of the state of Oklahoma Vegas. real quick. They can help you out. I already cleared the roads for Jackson. No shit. Drinks on me then. Still not like I'm Missouri going does suck. Caravan yes, yes, yes it does. It's here, nothing but it's dust and, and shit. <laughs> Anyone who lives in Missouri, the statement was not about you. I wanted to ask you something. I wanted to ask you something What's on else. Your mind? Jean Baptiste in Freeside wanted to meet with you. Jean Baptiste sounds like someone got Kansas with a, a boner so <laughs> that's funny Either yeah that's that, true or it's Canadarian or some such shit so who is this Baptiste and what does he want he's with the Van Graffs the only Van Graffs I know are the ones out west well except for Gloria Van Graff and I don't know her all that well nor do I want to don't have any objections speaking Her, with him. Is Cass and Though Veronica the, the same grass, voice actor? He should know I'm not looking to buy weapons. I mean, it wouldn't be the uh, the first time that they've used like the same voice actor for multiple, multiple, multiple characters in this game, but you I kind of feel like I'm talking to the same, you know, I feel like I'm talking to the same person. So wait, 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 wait. I need to get her to follow me. She's drowning her sorrows. Her advice is to go work for the Crimson Caravan Company. I feel like she's not going to follow me until I take her hey advice, right? So let's 
Let's head back to Alice McLafferty. Hey. Oklahoma is Texas's weird hat. If I can pull up the picture. Jamie, pull up the picture of Texas and Oklahoma. Let's, uh, let's see. I'm pretty sure, I believe you. I remember when I looked at the picture a second ago. It's pretty, <laughs> I opened my Google Chrome and it's a picture of Kramer in the Laugh Factory. Oklahoma. Oklahoma. <clears throat> Oklahoma. Yeah, it's totally Texas's weird hat. And I was thinking of the West. It's, uh, it's penis is on the West side. <sighs> Got a cool as shit flag. I gotta peep that flag now. Oh, this looks like uh, some dead Native American type of shit right here. Hell yeah. That is a good flag. I like that flag. I don't know if I could, like, think off the top of my head of, like, what my favorite state flag is. And dox myself. Uh, indirectly dox myself. I think uh, Kentucky's flag kind of sucks. We got to drink some water. Alice McLafferty appears to be probably sleeping. Let's go bugger. Guard barracks. Our guys put the monorail back to work. What the fuck? <laughs> You're just like standing looking at the trash can. Welcome back. Ohio has the worst flag. Ohio sucks. It's a creek. Okay, wait. It's a creek nation shield. Uh, you fucked Oklahoma history and a peace pipe and an olive branch. Maybe it's, maybe it's one of the states <laughs> that that wants to believe they treated the natives better than uh you know the entire country did. God, we fucked we fucked the natives so hard. <laughs> Any natives who are listening to the stream, I'm sorry. Oh my god, I'm sorry. <laughs> Damn, I wish we had just like shown up and been like, you know what? You guys are pretty cool. You're living you're living like Larry. Uh fuck this like it's because of the fucking first people who showed up here were the pilgrims. God damn, they were stupid. Right. I'm afraid we have no current openings for caravanners or guards, but I am in need of a runner. Well, I'd rather be a guard, but all right. Deliver this invoice to Dr. Hildern. You can find him somewhere inside Camp McCarran. I hate people. I see fucking people like uh like fucking um oh, what do I want to call them? Anyway, I see like Twitter Christians all the time recycling that fucking garbage uh, like, oh, America was founded. It was Native American territory. Andrew Jackson sent them here in the Trail of Tears. Awesome. Great. <laughs> so we got to head to Camp McCarran and deliver an invoice. I, yeah, but I see fucking people parrot that, like, uh, that whole, like, oh, no, uh, the poor pilgrims came to America because they were facing religious persecution. No, they were great. America was built on freedom of religious ideals. I'm gonna make you and it's just like, bro, look up why the pilgrims left Europe. Like, they were fucking crazy people. And like they were, they were like crazy for like religious cult standards, and then people were like, "Yo, dog, you guys are kind of fucked up," and then they were like, "No, no, you're fucked up, and God hates you. We're gonna leave." And everybody was like, "Okay, good riddance, bye." <laughs> you don't want to be like the pilgrims, guys. Fucking like young trad, like trad caths, like trad Christians. On, on fucking Twitter, man, like, whew, let's not fucking talk about Twitter, let's, let's just, ig let's brush that aside, we'll talk about Native American genocide instead, right, this is real fucked up, yeah, man, our history is, like, this country, our history sucks, the pilgrims were basically Jim Jones without the Kool-Aid and the equal, uh, hay of the Dutch, yeah, seriously, seriously, 
I, I fucking, anybody, like, and I'm not trying, I'm not saying this as an attack on your beliefs, I promise. I, w I just want you to, like, objectively think about this. Like, please look up, like, what the pilgrims actually were, like, act like their actual religious beliefs and, like, why they were chased out of Europe. Like, look that shit up. If you agree with them, that's fine. And at that point, we have nothing left to talk about, you and I. Uh, but, like, if you are perpetuating this idea that, like, they were in search of, like, it's not an attack if it's true, right? <laughs> yeah, no, like, seriously, if you're, like, in holding this belief that, like, uh, they were just these poor victims who were being denied uh, the freedom to practice the way they wanted to practice, you know, religion. Honestly, you need to look that up because they would infiltrate religious groups. They would, like, go to find religious communes and join up with them. And then they would try to tell all of those people in these religious communes... No, no, you guys are all wrong. You have to live and worship the way that we do. That's why they were getting kicked out. That's why they were, like, religiously persecuted. Because they kept showing up in places and being like, No, we're right, you're wrong, you need to change, and we're not taking no for an answer. And then they'd, like, surprise Pikachu face and be upset when they got kicked out. Like, fucking, like, regular dickhead behavior. Absolutely fatherless. Okay, I think the guy I'm looking for must be on the first floor. There's got to be a door under this escalator. Yep. Hey. Sup, Thomas Hildern. A pleasure to meet you. I'm Dr. Thomas Hildern, Director of Operations, OSI East. I presume you're here about Vault 22? There was already an English settlement in North America, and they suck at navigation and whiffed it for about 300 miles. Yeah. Yeah. 100% <laughs> <laughs> makes sense. I guess he asked me about Vault 22. Uh, actually, I have an invoice for you from Alice McLafferty. From Alice? I'll see that she's paid right away. Crimson Caravan runs a tight operation, even out here in the waste. Was there anything else? No, but like for real, I'm back on this now. Um, fucking the Native Americans, like the whole like spirituality tied to like the land and living in harmony with nature and its animals, based, 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 based as fuck, dude. <laughs> like why? I can't believe we showed up, and we're just like, man, you guys like are fucking living harmoniously with the land like yeah they were have fighting wars with like rival tribes sure but it's like man you guys are like living harmoniously with the land and like vibing here uh fuck you um our religion of christian peace uh has a word with you we're gonna fucking just fuck all of this up uh why won't you give me religious freedom to restrict others religions uh you're such nerds pilgrims probably uh pilgrims exactly more like so this guy mentioned Vault 22. Let's talk about Vault Wonderful. 22. Straight to it then. Have you signed the release forms? No. Doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. We'll keep that to ourselves. Vault 22. Where to begin? Shoo! Oh, that whiskey. I'm gonna have to probably buy a, a different whiskey after this one. My my whiskey. My boss, who keeps Iroquois mythology. I need to learn more about native mythology. I, uh, I was doing a big read at work about, um, Australian native mythology. I wanted to call them aboriginals, but I think that's, like, an offensive, that's, like, <laughs> it's, like, uh, that's, like, us calling Native Americans Indians. Um... But I was reading up on, like, Aboriginal... Fuck, I did it! I just said the... F I just said the uh, fucking, like, Native Australian, uh... Mythology and, like, the... Like, the dream... The dream time or the dreamland, like... Like... Cool stuff. Cool stuff. I... I will, uh... Let me open a tab. I'll read up on Iroquois mythology.
after the stream. I'll, I'll read up on that. Okay. Vault 22. I'm listening. Imagine, if you will, the wasteland in bloom. Vast fields of corn that grow from seeds and produce their bounty in the space of a month. Orchards of trees, their branches weighed halfway to the ground, hung with fat, ripe oranges, a harvest that could feed a city or a nation. And all of this, all this, requiring no more than a few drops of precious water and the efforts of only a handful of human farmers. Impossible? Damn, you got me horny thinking about all these fat, ripe fruits on the vine. Damn, doctor. Uh, I've never, I've never seen the wasteland growing with fat, fucking ripe fruits. So yeah, I'd say that's impossible. We have that in common. A year ago, I'd have said the same. But what if I was to tell you that the wasteland can yield an endless bounty? And that the secret may lie a mere few miles from where we stand. We need only reach out and take it, and for that I need you. Iroquois mythology. U.S. where we get the phrase, is where we get the phrase, bury the hatchet. Which, uh, I'm gonna butcher this one, because I, I haven't, like, read up on it. But it, like, I'm assuming this is like a, uh, it was like a way to, like, settle an argument? I mean, because that's, like, how we use the phrase, like, bury the hatchet, so I would assume it was, like, like, actually they were burying, I, I'm not going to talk about that, I'm, like, very, it's coming from a place of ignorance, I'll, I'll read up on it. <laughs> I, I think that they were living a very, I, like, I want, if I had my way, right, I would totally go out into the fucking woods in a commune. And, like, live in harmony with nature. It's based as fuck, man. Like, a uh, Scientific discovery is never as simple as that. Let's get through this conversation. Before we go off on a environmental eco-terrorism rant. This all sounds a little hard to believe. Skepticism can be forgiven. But I think you'll come around if the reports I've heard... Oh, yeah, and, like, if you've got the time, I go ahead and, like, type up something about it. I'd love to hear it. Secrets of vegetative growth. Plants are spilling from their gate. No one tends them. No one waters them. Yet they multiply and spread in all directions. Find the reason for this miraculous growth, and I promise you the OSI will see that you are generously compensated. Hmm. All right. Good. I'll do it. No need to check in with the NCR authorities. I can authorize your payment from OSI accounts. Vaults typically contain a server room on a lower level, where they would have backed up their research data. A computer room, you understand? Download all the information on the central server to your pip boy, and you'll be certain to bring me any notes or samples that you find, won't you? Sure thing, Doc. Anything else I should know? I thought it was a fairly. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, fuck you. Goodbye. Grog is actually. Did Doc? Oh, son of a bitch. This really isn't any of my business, but did he give you a job? Uh, yeah. He asked me to get some data from Vault Twenty Two. I shouldn't say anything. I know that. But you're not the first person Hildren sent out to the vault. It's okay, I'm there built were a different. Lot of mercs, one after another. None of them came back. Then about a week ago, there was a scientist, Keeley. She's unusual. Not the sort of person you'd expect, but she's an absolute genius and and he didn't mention her. Once again, like I said, yeah, never came up, doesn't bother me. I'm built different. No. I knew the danger wouldn't. I'm not trying to scare you off the job. Listen, I make a fair wage, but I'm not rich. Not by any means. Maybe my kind of money wouldn't appeal to your average merc. But I'm willing to pay you if you'll find Keeley and make sure she's safe. In right leaving her out there. No idea if she's alive or dead. Angela Williams x Keeley romantic lesbian fanfic incoming? Hmm? I'll look for her, sure. I had a good feeling of Like I said though, I'm built different. I'm not fucking worried about disappearing. Nothing can kill me. Ignore all that stuff that's killed me over the course of this playthrough, but I'm good. A place in this desolate wasteland where plants can grow freely. 
spilling out of the door of a vault. It's been quite some time since I've been in a vault. It might bring back negative memories, but I feel like I should examine it all the same. You're probably already typing up the story, but like I said, go right ahead, uh, make up the names, do what you gotta do. I'm pretty interested to hear it. Grog is gonna finish. Yeah, because he can return to L L L L McLafferty and let her know that we've delivered the invoice. But he's very interested in this talk of, like, plant life, like, free-growing plants in such a fucking brown, desolate wasteland. It's not really something he's seen much of. Who the fuck? A chem addict. We walked to the Crimson Caravan. We'll walk back. Or we walked here from there. You take a little... Take a little drink of the whiskey. Maybe not. My tum tum's still burning from the last one. And my poor little stummy. My stummussy. I've got a bad case of clussy fever. <laughs> It's been really fun watching everyone go insane over the fucking clown lady from Ace Attorney lately. Hi, oh, me girlfriend. She's not messaging me back. Oh. Sheesh. Gotta love some. Uh oh, we're sleepy. We're sleepy. Uh, we got anything with caffeine in it we could drink? Now that I think, ooh, the comic, the a comic cocktail. <laughs> Let's drink that shit. It's like an energy drink. Look at that. Makes us thirsty though. We picked up a skill book. Let's find and read our skill book. It was tumblers today. Oh, we got two of them. Sick. Any more? Before I forget? Cause I will forget. Let me tell you, those fucking supplements I've been taking haven't done a goddamn thing. Though they've made my, uh, my stomach a lot more stable, I feel like. It's funny, I've fucking taken these, uh, lion's mane, like, freeze-dried, like, lion's mane tablets, or capsules, uh, cause I, I'm, like, very scatterbrained, and I was hoping it would help with my short-term memory. And all they've done is, like, cure my fucking heartburn and acid reflux. <laughs> Which is great! I'm not fucking, you know, eating, like, two or three Tums every fucking time I wake up. It's probably a lot easier on my fucking kidneys or liver or whichever one. Whichever one all that calcium carbonate was going to build up inside of. I forget the name of the channel. There's like this fucking channel that like goes over like extreme case uh, medical emergency situations. And I'm a very... I'm not a hypochondriac. I don't like... Uh, I don't go to the doctor very often, but I do get very paranoid and anxious about like medical stuff. So it's not a good channel for me to be watching, but I still do it. Well, I delivered that thing you wanted me to deliver. Well, you've proven yourself reliable so far. Would you be interested in more important jobs? More important jobs? Uh, I'm interested in more important pay, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, sure, what other jobs? As much as I like to handle matters personally, I can't be everywhere at once. There is a negotiation with a smaller trading outfit that I'd like resolved as quickly as possible. There's also the matter of Henry Jameson, an employee whose services I'd rather do without. His family connections make it difficult, however. And finally, I need someone to acquire the Gunrunner's manufacturing specifications. This job needs to be quiet. No alarms, no deaths.
I can't tell if my girlfriend is like listening to the stream or not. She just brought up Grog. <laughs> if you are, hey boo boo. Uh, no, no, that was Grog. Hey boo boo, let me smell. You just shake that little pussy, boo boo. Fucking, I need to, I need to rewatch all of the sick animations videos so I can like uh, quote them all again. Hey there, Mr. Boo Boo, why don't you come on over here and shake that little pussy? God, I fucking love that guy. If anybody has not watched uh, Mark, I think it's Mark M. Sick Animations, please do yourself a favor and watch this shit. It's so funny. Want to know about the... Okay, so I, it sounds like she's got three jobs for me. You know, because we weren't paying attention. What did she say? She said she respects Grog. Eh, I mean, bad move. I'm going to turn this around on her. I respect you. Let's say a bunch of cutesy ooh baby shit. Um, let's, we're good at solving problems. Let's solve a problem the with Jamesons Henry Jameson. Are very wealthy ranchers back in Redding, California, and significant investors in the Crimson Caravan Company. I was pressured into posting young Henry as the manager of the New Vegas branch. As you can see, he wasn't exactly cut out for the job. He was much more interested in gambling and prostitutes, and because of his family, I can't simply fire him. Henry needs to be convinced to quit, one way or another. I won't have a useless employee on the company payroll. Okay. Tell me about the negotiation, then. There's a small trading outfit, Cassidy Caravans, that I'm interested in acquiring. They've been rather competitive, so it's time to buy them out. I have it on good authority that the owner, Cass, wants out of the caravan business. Cass frequently trades with the NCR, so you'll likely find her at the Mojave Outpost. I, I'm starting to feel like she's asking me to do jobs that require me to, like, talk to people? Or, like, be good at talking to people? The quality of the Gunrunner's armaments is due to their manufacturing process. They craft all weapons on site. I want to know the secrets of their manufacturing process, which means you'll need to find some way to get inside their heavily guarded factory. This one I, I might be able to do. I prefer that you perform this job undetected and without killing anyone, if it can be helped. Infiltration. That kind of sounds up my alley. What do you mean that's not something I do? I can do an infiltration. Maybe. I'm not very stealthy, am I? 31. Stealth boys. That's what stealth boys are for, right? Sneak plus 100? Yeah. So is that, okay, heartache by the number. Oh, okay, so all three of these. So negotiate with Cass, mandatory. Convince Henry Jameson, mandatory. Optional, acquire the Gunrunner's manufacturing secrets. Okay, so we've got two quests that rely on us asking Cass to abandon her uh, title as owner of Cassidy Caravans. Hey. But I think that the gun runners are gonna be within walking. Oh, fuck, that's a crash. Son of a bitch! I think that the gun runners are gonna be within walking distance. So we'll go and try to get that one out of the way first. Let me make sure the fucking let me make sure I can go through this gate that I that it crashed when I tried to go through it just in case if it crashes on the same door again it didn't cool all right we're back there we go uh, so let's yeah let's go the gun runners. And maybe even this Jameson guy. He's probably on the strip, right? He's probably, like, gambling on the strip. Yeah. So both of those are within walking distance. So we'll get both of those jobs out of the way. And then we'll go talk to Cass. 
So I've only got one stealth boy. If I go back to my home in Novak, I can probably, I probably have some more there. Unless I left them in the capital waste, which would kind of be a problem. So let's go to the strip first and look for this uh, fucking slimy chud. Look for this slimy little chuddy boy who runs the, who's like the head of the New Vegas branch or whatever. Morning. You like that? I'm hit. Come on. Damn, y'all really gonna attack a king, huh? Okay. Hey, you're the one who's been going around helping people around here, right? The king says to keep up the good work. Stimpak. Okay, I know I say this every time I eat people. People are supposed to be mad at you when you eat people. But I've been able to eat people in front of people constantly, and it's never a problem. So, here we go. Damn, this dude is like blue-black. He's purple. Should we go... This guy... Let's go fucking bust this alleyway ambush. This guy's been waving at us for fucking weeks on end. Hey, come over here. Come into this alleyway. Come on over here, man. Morning. What do you need? I need to get going. Apparently. Come on over here. Come out. Come on. What? The, look over here, man. Come on. Check it out. Between the dumpsters there. Oh my god, is that Liam O'Brien in his 37th role? And I keep saying 37th. <laughs> this guy has the facial proportions. I just traced with my finger instead of my fucking mouse. God damn. <laughs> this guy has the facial proportions of a fucking Oblivion character. I wanted to look fucked up like this. Oh look, a body. No, we wouldn't say I really should be going. Friend of yours. Nah, just some idiot that wandered down the wrong alley. Sound familiar? Well... <laughs> you guys really should pick your marks, like, more carefully. <laughs> that didn't work out well for you guys at all. Alright, I mean, it is what it is. I'm gonna say some sappy shit to my GF real quick. Brew. Okay, so I'm getting the story from Ledge now. Let me eat these people while I read. So, a man named Bruce wanted peace between tribes, so he finds a warrior named Steve who is weeping because his family was killed by an evil shaman with snake hair. Like a Medusa kind of snake hair vibes? Okay. So, Bruce wants peace between tribes, and he finds a weeping warrior because his family was killed by an evil shaman. I'm invested. All right. All right, this fucking sound bite is stuck in my head. Ruining your story. <laughs> I need to remember that there's an auto walk button. Okay, so Steve sought to kill the shaman for vengeance. Uh, Bruce says the only way to kill him is through love. So they join forces and seek to make peace between the forever warring tribes. Okay. Hungry? Thirsty? Hungry? Horny? The atomic wrangler had you Yeah, whatever you say, bitch. Hello there. Oh, it's probably this fucking ass well, fucking look at Shove this off. guy. Look at my luck turn bad. <laughs> no, I'm not. If anything, my luck would rub off on you. Let me tell you about how much I hate casinos. <laughs> I'm here to talk about ending your employment with the Crimson Caravan Company. Fuck no. 
No matter what that old bitch McLafferty says, my dad said I could be in charge of the New Vegas bridge. My dad said I could be in charge. I'm a little money trouble with the Omertas. If I quit the Crimson Caravan, how am I supposed to get the money to gamble? Where's the I'm gonna crush your skull option? Yeah, we're not gonna talk him out of this one. Maybe we make a deal. What do you want from the Crimson? I don't give a shit about what money I lose for the Crimson Caravan. Yeah, fucking, what do you want from the Crimson Caravan? I want my debt with the Omertas paid off. And I want one of those severance package things. Yeah, big one. I'll show you a severance package. You do that. And tell the old bitch to pay up quick, you hear? I can't remember if she told me... Wait, 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 we... Okay. All right, the whiskey has inhibited our, our ability to think rationally. You can't just randomly kill people in a populated area. Silly me. <laughs> My first instinct is just to crush his skull. Silly me. Okay, we got the next part of this story. So, okay. So, Bruce wants peace between the tribes. He meets Steve whose family was killed by a shaman with with snake hair. Um, Steve wants to kill the shaman for revenge. Bruce says the only way to end this is through love rather than like more hate and death. They join forces to find peace between the forever warring tribes. So Steve's men aren't convinced that he is an all-loving, uh, powerful figure, so they tell him if he can survive the drop from a waterfall, they'll believe him. So he climbs a pine tree and he jumps into the waterfall and survives. All right, go Steve. What time is it? Let's uh, stare at the gun runners for 12 hours. Because I feel like we need to wait till nightfall before we try to... We need every advantage we can get if we're going to infiltrate this place. So the men follow him. Uh, causing a montage of peace treaties, so on and so forth. Okay, so Steve's men uh, believe in him because he accomplished his great feat of surviving the drop from the waterfall, and they accompany him on his... Hey, I don't handle buying and selling for the gunrunner. Mm-hmm. Could I get a tour? None whatsoever. Everything... A lot of our high-end weaponry comes from pre-war military schematics. Okay, so S Isaac says I can't get in. Let's keep that stim pack or that stealth boy on speed dial. Okay, so Bruce and Steve have inspired confidence in their men, and they are going around making these peace treaties with the tribes a reality. Okay, so let's use our stealth boy. We saved before we did any of this. The men inside have orders to kill on sight. Okay, it seems like I need to go through here. It's very populated. There might be a way for us to skirt it. Okay, when they sign the final treaty, they realize that the they are the only threat now. Oh, the only threat now is the shaman. So they go to his house to seek peace, but it backfires. Oh, okay. Man, I fucking hate how wet it sounds when Grog walks. Okay, so this was the wrong way to go. We're gonna have to go through the room with all the guys in it. Oh, this is like a manufacturing room anyway. Oh, it's probably this terminal. Download manufacturing specifications. Wait, can I? Vendortron naming. Excuse me? We'd like this order expedited if possible. The situation at the dam requires it. Persona non grata. Okay. 
Vendertron. Can we stop calling the Vendertron a Vendertron? Let's give it a proper name. Damn, I thought that this was going to be like a secret thing that was going to let me rename the vendor. That would have been the Vendertron. That would have been funny. Wait, that was... Thank you, Stealth Boy. Which I actually coincidentally received from my gambling winnings at the Vicky Advance Casino. So, thanks, baby. Alright, let's go and get the last job for McLafferty done. Let's talk to Cass about her caravan. Yeah, her caravan, that's the right word. We're on a roll! What did I want to call it that would have been the wrong word? I was like, I was like, oh, that's the wrong word immediately before I even realized it was the right one. We need another rat away. Or, or like we can afford to use another rat away without it being a problem. So we got 146 rads, a rat away, give us uh, 70. We could use two and still have seven rads left over. Okay, here we go, next part. So the shaman begins to shoot snakes from his hands and hair, but Steve and Bruce are protected by love, uh, and the shaman realizes all of the bad that he's done. Bruce, and S Bruce gives Steve a comb, and says we'll forgive him, and give him the comb. So he gives the comb to the shaman, who we'll call Tyler, who combs the snakes out of his hair and becomes good, and decides to help them on their quest. I like the significance of that. Uh, Bruce gives Steve the comb. Steve is the one who wants revenge against the shaman. Uh, and like, so Steve is the one who has to reconcile his differences with the shaman by giving him this gift. But then like, you know, that is what makes the shaman good. And so like now the shaman has joined them. So like uh, Bruce has kind of forgiven the Mojave, and forgotten about his uh, desire for revenge, or Steve. Steve forgot about his desire for revenge. You come around like a bad habit. What so they begin mind? digging a big fuck off hole, and decree that all weapons of war are to be buried, and that's where we get bury the hatchet. That is good. I like that. That's like a, that's a good. That's like a parable. That's a good parable. Crimson Caravan sent me. They want to buy out your caravan. They want to buy Cassidy Caravans? Don't they know it's... That's a good story. Cash? I like it. Thank you, no. Ledge. Everybody, let's... Even times being what they are. Let's give a big thank you to sure Ledge. I'm looking to sell. Even for all the whiskey in Reno. I really like the significance that Steve is the one who turns the shaman who killed his family over to good by, like... Uh, you know, casting off his wish for revenge. I like that. Uh, that's my favorite detail of that story. Cass, you haven't even seen the offer. What happened to your caravan? Uh... Mojave happened. Hit by raiders packing some heavy firepower. Can't believe the Crimson Caravan haven't heard. Well, so I mean, this means the... all of Cassidy Caravans, you're looking at it. And what I got in my pockets. Still... As little as that is, not looking to sell. You typed the whole thing and realized Twitch only allows 500 characters. <clears throat> when I saw the first message come in and it was small, I was like, okay, he's doing a copy pasta where he like has the whole thing typed out and he's like grabbing pieces of it. I'm going to laugh when you're like, oh shit, that's a really good idea. I didn't think about that. And you were just typing it out little piece at a time. So even if you have nothing, you won't sell. Hmm, Cass? If someone came up to you and offered you a thousand caps for your name, would you take it? Actually, What's a name, you know what? Fuck Cass? What does it mean? I hear your answer anyway. See? Yeah, exactly. Anyways, I don't care than what it is. It's mine. <laughs> you typed it individually. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> I have the offer letter here, Cass. The terms are fair. Alice McLafferty, eh? No, I see the zeros, and I know she's good for them. Still, it's not about the money. Dad'd spin like a twister if he ever heard I sold our name for anything. Isn't your dad dead? What does it matter? Look, I, I say this. this way. <laughs> not take some drive. I'm it's sorry, Ledge. I appreciate your sacrifice it if it means anything. Right. Trading history for a slip of paper. 
you know, like I've said all this stuff just now, but I like I'm thinking back in the first episode where it was like anytime I had the option to lie, I was like, no, I'm prideful. I'm going to lie. So I, I need to achieve a barter or a speech of at least 50. 75 if I want bonus experience. And what does it matter? We're gonna kill her anyway, right? ZR killed him. I mean, you come around does it even time. matter to tell McLafferty? Okay, we'll come back here. We'll come it's back later. Hey. We finished two of McLafferty's jobs. We'll come back like we at some point we're going your brain hurts. Oh fuck. If you're getting a migraine from watching the stream, you don't have to. Uh I appreciate you uh hanging out. So we 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 could tell McLafferty, or if the developers had the foresight, you know, the information that Cass gave us that her caravan has been burned to the ground. Sup, dude. Yeah, it does. Don't mind me. Just a little hungry, a little peckish. Oh, damn! Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, not a migraine, just you being stupid. It happens. I only ever think about, like, if you got a big story that you need to tell, cop like, writing it somewhere else and copy-pasting pieces of it. I only ever think of that as a concept because of like green texting on 4chan or like telling big stories on 4chan yo Gislaine maxwell sentenced to 20 years for sex trafficking can we get a fucking can we get a pog in the chat hell yeah i can't wait for her to not uh, i can't wait for her to commit suicide in prison like jeffrey epstein didn't our guys put the monorail back to work do I have anything I could repair this plasma pistol with? Definitely not. It's only worth 41. I feel like it could be worth something later on. Fucking damn. Uh, what was like the thing that was going on in... Uh, not to be a conspiracy theorist, and I don't believe Christianity, but there are similar parables. Well, that's the thing. Is... Um, Welcome back. All of the Abrahamic religions, this is not a conspiracy theory, this is just true. And, you know, it's like an uncomfortable truth, I guess. But all Abrahamic religions, uh, Christianity, Islam, I thought there was a third one, uh, Judaism, all of them come from the same, like, original source. It was like a Babylonian... Uh, Mesopotamian proto-religion so like there's a reason why there's a lot of like similarities between the three in like their uh, origin stories and like their stories about prophets because they all come from the same religion um, they just like there were people had differences over the course of time and eventually they branched off into separate religions that like really want to convince you they're not the same thing um, it is interesting, though, to see, like, similarities between Christianity and Native American mythology, though. That is a pretty interesting link. Henry Jameson is fired. Yes, but at significant cost. I understand you not only agreed that the company pay off his gambling debts... But he also gets severance. Yeah, so? I'm disappointed with this outcome, but... I, it's, I did what you asked me to do, bitch. Should have hired me as a caravan guard. Damn, I could have done that job good for you. I hear it's business as usual at the Gunrunners, as if nothing unusual happened. Excellent work. We'll be able to use the schematics you acquired to begin manufacturing our own weapons immediately. We'll provide some to you at a discount. <coughs> Whatever you say, lady. Oh. oh, that whiskey's hitting harder and harder every sip I take. 
understand you understand Abrahamic religions are the same. It's a bit weird. This was Mesoamericans, not in the Middle East. I think it's fascinating because there's something about humans that don't like war, but we still participate in it. Yeah, 100%. I agree with that. I mean, like, uh, if we really, really dig deep, I think... Oh, son, it's that door. That one door crashes my game every time. Let's fucking... Let's try this again. Do we have to, like, fast travel to leave the gun runners? Like, this one door is crashing the game every time we open it. That is, like, is a really interesting, um, connection. But I, I think... I think that's part of the human condition. Like, part of our, the enlightenment of our... What is it, like, sentience? Of, like, what separates us from, like, an animal that lives off of its instincts, like, our ability to, like, think and self-reflect. I think our instincts are to... You, like, part of human instincts are to kill and destroy and, like, crush, like, you know, that which opposes you. Like, that that's, like, the lizard brain, right? Is Is, like, to destroy that which you do not understand that which is opposed to you but then i think that like part of being human is realizing like these concepts that are greater than the self than the individual like realizing that t you know apes together strong <laughs> I, I think that's part of our struggle as people is uh is reconciling these philosophical concepts of going against something that's so f deeply ingrained in our nature uh, and and being able to pull it off I don't know I'm I'm not I'm not a very smart person like a two I'm not a philosophizer I'm not a, a philosophist and uh, and three I'm drunk, so <laughs> uh, not gonna be much help here. I don't know. I uh, as cliche. Oh shit. Okay, you need to fucking get back in your where you're supposed to be. But I almost forgot about my boys. It's baby bratwurst. I love you. And uh, Slim Jim, because he's extra long. What's up, Slim Jim? I love my boys. I feel like the teddy bear used to be over here where baby bratwurst could hold it. Are you trying to get away from my meat child? You despicable ursine monster, hmm? My little baby wants to wants to hold his teddy bear. Look, he's he's reaching out. Okay? I'm over here fucking talking about like humans should strive for peace. While I'm playing my psychopathic cannibal character in this video game who builds people out of human remains and roleplays with them as a family. Whoo, yikes. Alright, you just posted something. Part of our shared experience is that we hate violence, but we participate in it, which is hypocritical. It's that fucking, uh, we should improve society uh, somewhat. Ah, but yet you participate in society. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, analysis about why we love violence, we hate, but we hate it at the same time is a never-ending question. Very confusing. Yeah, the human condition just doesn't make sense in general. Like, at a base level, I feel like. We're very hypocritical creatures with very, like, conflicting um, ideas and drives and motives. Uh, let's deposit one doctor's bag. And we have one weapon repair kit. We'll hold on to it. We have one stealth boy. And we'll leave it. But, I mean, that means that we did have a stealth boy here. We didn't leave them all in the capital wastes. 
Do we need to deposit any water? Got a lot of banana yucca. We want to hold on to the banana yucca. I'm kind of mad that UGG bug, that Ungabunga, that Ugg bug, made fire 10,000 years ago and now I have to pay taxes, right? <laughs> what a fucking idiot. I don't mean to uh, Ted Kaczynski on Maine or anything, but the uh, the effects and ramifications of the Industrial Revolution have been a disaster for human society. Okay, uh, purified water. 24. 21? That's too many. Let's deposit 14. Shit. I was supposed to hit A. Alright. The meat tub. The meat tub. Why is there erratics in there? Cigarettes. They're not even Benny's cigarettes. The meat tub. Fill the meat tub. No, oh, wrong thing. Hey, those ice cold Nuka Colas sure have remained ice cold for quite some time. <laughs> Toilet meat. The meat makes a funny sound. Like when it hits other meat. Or maybe... Yeah. Kind of sounds like... Like the subdued noises of, like, pool being played. Come on, we can we can get the meat any hole's a goal. We can get the meat in the hole. Man, what a fucking time to be alive. Ghislaine Maxwell just got fucking indicted for child fucking endangerment and trafficking. Roe v. Wade got overturned. Fuck, man. <laughs> we live in the worst timeline. <laughs> Well, okay, I just listed a good thing and a bad thing and then said that we lived in the worst timeline. And, like, I... Uh, if I knew... If I had known anything about what modern life was going to be like, my ass would have stayed in the primordial soup. A fucking men, brother! I'd have stayed my ass in the primordial soup if I'd have known it was going to be like this. Let's go... Okay, talking to Cass is pointless, right? Wait, why is this Mojave... Oh, that's a DLC. Heartache by the number... There's, like, literally... We just... We need to negotiate with Cass. So let's go search for Keeley. Let's drink our dirty water. I considered going and finding a thing to drink from and saving the dirty water, but we've got, we just took a bunch of water out of our inventory. So vault, uh, vault 22 is right there. We can probably reach it. If we go to that one place that I initially put my cursor on, that ranger station, we were gonna have to, oh, a plasma rifle. That's shit. That's money, baby, money, baby. Fuck you. Uh, sunset? No, damn it. Bottle cap. Jet. Bottle cap. Mentats. Um. Ah! <sighs> Fuck me. Sensor module. Whiskey. Haha, ha, I saw whiskey. And now I need to take a drink of whiskey, right? That's how alcoholism works. Uh, ooh. Nevada agave. Yeah, let's go find this verdant green vault that we've been told about. Hey! Yo, fuck that. I hate Cazadors. I don't side with the NCR because I hate taxes. To quote Drill, 
If I got arrested for not paying my taxes, I'm facing God and walking backwards into hell. <laughs> Amen, I fucking hate taxes. Every fucking year, Indiana fucking... They don't... I, I don't know who to fucking talk to to get them to take the right amount of money out of my checks. Every fucking year, Indiana's like... Oh yeah, by the way, you owe us $900 out of pocket. Thanks. Just further reinforces that Ohio and Indiana are two of the most scumfuck worst states in this great nation. Honestly, fucking some of the shit that's going down in my lifetime, it just doesn't fucking feel real anymore. <laughs> like, this Roe v. Wade shit has me fucking... I don't want to fucking talk about politics on this fucking channel. Let's... It's crazy. That's all I'm going to say. It's, it's wild and wacky, some of the things that happen in this fucking country. I want to hit the bug. Wait, I want to hit the bug with the spin attack. Yeah, he didn't sting me! He stung me! How did it sting me? Did it just fall through the fucking... No, it popped back up over here. Who is shooting me? I'm trying to fight a goddamn bug. What the fuck? You bastards. Is this another Legion hit squad? Great nation in air quotes, of course. I figured it would be... Obvious that I was being facetious, but yes, absolutely in air quotes. There's a great nation, the U.S. of it. I thought I'd... I thought I'd left the purified water. Oh, son of a bitch. I thought I left the purified water. Alright, let's fucking go in on these guys. Let's, uh, let's get a little bit closer. They can't shoot us from this angle. We need to start taking damage before our, we're wasting healing. Stimpak, we're off. Where'd they go? Where'd they go? You sneaky fuckers. Get back here. Yeah, I knew you were out here. Psycho and Medex. Psycho and Medex. No addiction. Nice. Fuck you, suck my dick. Fuck you, suck my dick. Aw, oh, you bitch. You bitch, die. Fuck you, suck my dick. And who's next? Fuck you, suck my dick. Oh, there's five of them this time. Come here, come here. Oh! I feel like I'm in a survival book. <laughs> If we, uh, U.S. If we don't have shit, we take it from the other countries. Oh, yeehaw! It's so true, though. We're, like, we're so fucked up. <laughs> mm. Alright, so I don't want to fight that Cazador if I'm going to get attacked by a bunch of Legion cunt waffles, if you get what I'm saying. Maybe they spawned after I started fighting it? They came from this direction, so let's go. Oh yeah, I discovered the bunker up there, and then they attacked me. I never fought, I... All of my problems with the fucking US are just like, stemming from personal reasons of like, I never wanted to hurt and I became addicted to medics this time. I never wanted to hurt nobody. I never wanted to do nothing. I I just want, I want everybody to get along. In Fallout Lore, the US annex Canada, and you believe we're not far from that. I agree. I'm surprised we didn't take more drastic action. Um, like when the whole like trucker convoy shit was going down. I really expected us to, like, overstep some boundaries and go crazy on that. Fuck these guys. Sass. 
sensei of sash burial banana yuka i'm gonna you guys don't deserve to be part of the meat tub oh my god it's so nice to be able to stream for like longer than an hour and not be a sweaty fucking like mess i'm so glad I I really hope that heat wave shit doesn't come back, because that was wild. Aw, oh, damn it, I took a piece of this guy after I said I wouldn't. That's fine. You get to go into the human bathtub, because you were wearing a dog head, right? Yep. You're cool in my book. You're not cool, but you're cool. Give me your armor. Your armor was... The Legion armor actually ended up being worth some good money. So last time we made the Praetorian armor, or the Vexillarius, I think we made the Vexillarius armor, like, really well put together. Even looking at it right now, the Vexillarius armor is, like, better, worth more money than the Praetorian armor. That Tobuscus picture of him with Kyle Rittenhouse is funny as shit. I guess I... It's so strange. Not only have I not watched Tobuscus, but I have not seen that picture. I didn't really go through a Minecraft YouTuber phase. That's what he's known for, right? I didn't just say that out of pocket <laughs> incorrectly. Devour. Man, my friend who's, like, older than me, um has adopted more zoomer lingo into his like speech patterns than I have and sometimes it's really fucking <laughs> gross to hear it. I'm not gonna say any specific details cuz I'm gonna fucking out myself, but uh... If we repair the Vexillarius armor one more time, it's going to be a full repair. This is heavy, so we're not going to carry it. I have made my executive decision. We only have one thing we can repair, and it's oh baby. We're going to use the super sledge because it's too heavy to carry around two of them. That's it. That's all she wrote. It was making the rounds on Twitter. To be fair, um, I've like really cleansed my life of Twitter. I am never on it anymore. Like, I was only using it for, like, to announce streams. And, like, even at this point, I'm only ever on my, like, like, thirst account now. Which I don't use to post. I just use it, you know, for browsing purposes. It's kind of just bizarre. It's like Marlon Brando taking a picture with Charles Manson. I'm gonna look it up. See, I don't really know anything about Tobuscus. <laughs> Tobuscus Kyle Rittenhouse was the first fucking result on Google. Yeah, they got nerf guns. Weird. I mean, like, all of that being said, I think... I don't think that Kyle Rittenhouse is 100% justified or like I, I think that he was getting himself into a situation that he shouldn't have been in but I do think that his actions were in self-defense I think that everything could have been avoided but I think that like with him being as deep in the situation as he was to where he could not have gotten out and what happened to him, I think that he acted in self-defense. We might disagree, um, but like I think that he shouldn't have, have been in the situation that he was in, but I think that like in the situation that he was in, he acted in self-defense. Wah! Medic's withdrawal. What does Medic's withdrawal do to us? Ah! <laughs> Ints and agility. Who needs them? Okay, okay, okay. He's doing a sting. He's gonna miss the sting. He's gonna miss the sting. Okay. 
Now we can strike back. It didn't knock him over, but we can win. I'm a fairly left-leaning person, and I agree it's the whole withdrawal thing, though. If, uh, if what you mean by withdrawal is like he, you know, like he was in too deep and he shouldn't have been in a situation, like what I said, like he shouldn't have been in a situation where that kind of thing was gonna happen, I agree with you. I'm like, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm very center, uh, like center left, probably. I think that it was a fucked situation all around, but I, I, I think it was self-defense. Stay out. The plants kill. we have seen a lot of red blips on my compass over here. Oh, it's mantids. <laughs> Come here! Come on, get some! Come on! You know, I I think that the people who, like, want to, like, fucking suck his dick and, like, congratulate him for killing people are, f like, fuck those guys. Like, it's a fucked up mindset to have. But... Like, I, I think he acted in self-defense. I just think that he shouldn't have been in a situation where he had to. I think that he was doing a good thing, like, like cleaning up graffiti and whatever he was doing in his community before he got into that situation. Legally, it's a whole conundrum because Washington state law uh, that self-defense is applicable, but if you run, it becomes null and void. Uh, he's shown to run, but I agree with you. Like, if you run from your aggressor, or if your aggressor runs from you. I, like, I know if your aggressor is running from you, and you and you still kill them, that's, that's no longer self-defense. I agree with that. That's, uh, that's probably what you mean. I wouldn't hold it against a state to have, like, a law where self-defense somehow doesn't apply if you, like, stop standing your ground and you run. It's a little bit of both. I think I think that if your life is in danger, running is an instinct. I think like if you stand your ground the whole time and take the people like take down the threat, that's self-defense sure, but I think like if you're running and the thing that you're running from catches up to you and you fight back with lethal force, that still should count, you know? But I 100% agree with, like, the self-defense condition where it's, like, if someone has gotten the opportunity to get away from lethal force, they're running, and then you still pursue and, and take them out, that's not self-defense. Like, at all. Yeah, I, I, I think, like, it's, it's great that he was, like, with, his, like, you You're know... Back. Hanging out attention? with like a bunch of people cleaning up the community like uh, you know vandalism fucking graffiti this and that sure That's great. I, I think that he should have not been there <laughs> Beyond that though No, 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 I'm not worried about wounded. It's addiction. There we go Bad situation all around Oh wow, she didn't even have anything snarky to say to me about being addicted. I think she's given up on me at this point. Smart move. Let's check out this overgrown... Fucking... I don't know how I feel about being inside of a vault again. It's bringing back... Bad memories. Yeah, it could have been avoided quite easily. He was... Okay, it was one state over, yes. But it was also... Like, I... The state lines thing is a very... Um, I think a lot of people are very misinformed about the state lines argument. Um, I think he was already across state lines when everything went down. Like, he was staying with his dad. 
but like it was like a 30 minute drive and it was where he like like it was like the community and the town that he like worked in so like he like that was basically like the place that you work is like another home to you like i i and he didn't bring the guns across state lines the guns were already in the state that he was in like so you know there's not any like legal rigmarole about like he brought guns across state lines with an intent like he was already there the guns were already there it was where he worked and it was like close to home I just, uh, so these are Kenzie Keeley. I wanted to call her Kenzie. These are Keeley's notes. Establish a temporary camp inside the entrance of the vault. Power inside is minimal, still running. I've managed to hack into one of their security terminals. The logs show that several people have entered, but none have left. So these are the other mercenaries who have shown up here and uh, been taken out. The growth on in the interior matches the exterior to a T. It's a little surprising given the scarcity of the sunlight in the entrance room. Even more surprising is that they seem to originate from further below. Maybe that fool Hildern was onto something after all. Since my pip boy is on the fritz, I'll try to keep a running log of my discoveries in whatever computers I can find and collate the data before leaving. Fair. I think he really shouldn't have brought that gun, though. You know, like a pistol I'm fine with, but I feel slightly that an AR-15 is stretching. I agree with you there. I completely agree, like... You know, it's a citizen's right to have a long arm for things like hunting. When you are going, you know, to a protest with a long arm, that is, like, that's overreaching for sure. That's... Like, I, com I completely agree with you there. Like, having a long arm for hunting and bringing a long arm for self-defense uh, against other people in a protest is a very, very different situation. Dirty water. <laughs> So we can repair the elevator, because Grog is really good at fixing shit. Let's do it anyway. But then let's just explore the whole place without using the elevator, because, you know, let's use the stairs, right? So there's level 2, oxygen recycling. Just want to make sure, dead end, dead end, where I came from. Let's head down. A pistol is fine because it's basically made for self-defense and close range where most self-defense cases happen. Yeah, 100%. Honestly, it's like, it's a fucked up situation on all sides. He should have just not been there. He should have not had you know, the long arm. You know, get in, do what you said you were going to do, like, clean up their graffiti, get out, right? So we've got entries 3, 4, and 5. Kind of wish these were audio logs, but whatever, let's read them. This level seems to have been devoted to the study of atmospheric effects on plants with a concentration on producing plants with a high oxygen yield. Given the problems these vaults were known to have, this sounds like a reasonable avenue of research. What do you mean, problems? I do feel like the case is a mixed bad. Yeah, no, I, I think it's, uh, this, it's a very... I think it's very easy to see why everyone was so divided on the case because it was, it was in a very gray area where nobody was really in the right. It's strange. Oh, it's strange, but some of the sections of the machinery down here appear to have been modified for an unknown purpose. There's that vault fuckery. The restraints regarding oxygen content and systemic pressure have been bypassed been hearing a strange chittering sound for some time and I've discovered the source there's some kind of giant mantises that have taken up residence in the vault I almost ran smack dab into one of them darn critters the other day but the creatures don't appear to react to my presence at all 
I don't know, well the mantids at the front of the vault attacked me, so... Stupid lucky bitch, huh? Perhaps the others sent here ran afoul of the creatures, but I can't see how a few scattered insects could pose much of a problem to the experienced mercs. Oh man, so, uh... My girlfriend, um, had a run-in with, like, a contractor who was too big for his britches earlier today. And she was, like, talking to me about it, like, how they got into a fight, uh, cause, like... He was he was just like being very stubborn, and she said uh, something about like he said something along the lines of like I had to explain this to his dumb stupid little man brain, <laughs> and I'm like I'm like damn babe, but then uh, so then that was uh, that led me to tweeting like misandrous gf and uh, misogynist bf, because that's basically us. She, she, she says some shit like that, and I say misogynist shit all the time. And uh, I actually sent that to her, like, misogynist uh, BF and misandrist GF. And she uh, she responded positively, so you know she's the one, guys. Uh, heap of filters. It was an interesting time, to say the least, and everyone in that case did do something shitty. Quote, Norm MacDonald. No, this might come off as a bit harsh to my viewers, but I believe that everybody in this story should die. Joking, obviously. I'm just, honestly, that's one of the ones that I'm glad that we're not talking about anymore. I'm glad that we've, that finally everyone can shut the fuck up about. I have political opinions, but I fucking hate talking about politics. <laughs> Nobody ever made friends talking about politics, that's what I believe. Even if you fucking have matching political opinions, like, it just, it's not fun to talk about. It sucks. Noise complaint. So this is not a message from Keeley, then. Could maintenance look into that duct work here on level 2 again? I know you guys took a look at this last week, but I swear, the noise is back. I even have other people that can back me up on this one this time, too. There's some noise in the ducks. Quack, quack, quack is a duck noise. <laughs> Never talk about religion or politics, which coincidentally we've talked about both on this stream today. Yo, I don't like that sound. What's that sound? It's a squickety squicking around on the walls. Something crawling around. Is level three food production. Is that all there was to this level? Stairs, elevator, lab. We went that way, we went that way. There was a door that we couldn't go through because it was blocked off. I'm gonna use our local map real quick. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> A plus plus stream. Talking about religion and politics. We just gotta talk about like endangering children and we'll be Vosh. Right? That's how that goes. Yo, what the fuck? Oh, hey, what's up, dude? Alright, cool. We can bonk these guys in one hit. Spore carrier sap. Restores food, gives you four health. Worthless. Who needs them? Why would I even pick up something like that? So, entry six and seven. We saw three, four, and five last time, so we're on track. I finally found some of the bodies of the scientists that live here. They appear to be overgrown with some form of lichen. They blend in so well with the other growth that I walked right by several of them without even noticing, like I did just now. I know this isn't funny, but I genuinely don't understand racism. <laughs> I think that... Like, ironically... Like, ironic racism can be funny. It's, uh, you know, like, comedy exists to, like, point out problems and this and that. But, like, genuine racism? Yeah, I'm 100% with you. Like, it needs to go away. It doesn't make any sense. Let me get back to my reading my log now. <laughs> Fuck racism. Grog and Locke, neither of us, we don't support racists. We don't support racism. I think that joking about it's 
like fine there are lines that you can cross while you joke about it but like if you're genuinely a racist fuck off get off this stream get off this channel fuck you jesus uh i've taken s the proper precautions but the lichen doesn't seem to be con contagious at least to ghouls ah gross <laughs> time to be racist we just found out that keely's a ghoul <laughs> Ironic racism is funny, but not like hardcore. Yeah, even well, yeah, like I said, like even when you're joking about it, there's lines that you can cross where it's like it's not fucking funny anymore. Like you can only veil something in irony so much before it's clear that you're not actually joking. Entry number eight. This or seven, right? This level appears to be where they performed most of the research the NCR is interested in. I've been able to collect a little, but the vast majority of the data from the research here is inaccessible. I'll have to find the main terminal and download from there. You know, like, I'm not gonna, like, come down on one of my friends if they make, like, a particularly colored, like, joke. Because I, I do it too. Um, I think that, I think that, like, jokes, I think that there's things that it, sh it, it, like, you know, I, can I eat these guys? They're not human enough. They're veg, it's like vegan to eat these guys, it's vegetarian. Like, French people, you can be racist against French people. Yeah, see, Ledge gets it, you can be racist against French people. Yields continue to improve, splicing together cultivar gene-188 with the existing corn samples. Oh no, corn has produced a colored joke. <laughs> has produced a hybrid that responds. I didn't mean it as in like jokes against colored people. That in itself was a joke, actually. Um, colored people, it feels gross to even say that term. Fucking hell. It is wild how like the most like blatant crazy cr like crazy person racism was just like oh yeah that's normal like you know like like fucking like 60 years ago even fucking, oh yeah it's normal it's whatever it's, it's normal fucking kramer at the laugh factory type racism i love si even just saying Kramer at the Laugh Factory is so fucking funny to me. <laughs> oh man, what a fucking idiot. I like these UV lights. My One of my favorite colors is purple. I love purple. Sensitivity on my mouse. I got turned around for a second there. Okay, so we got, we opened this door. We didn't open this door. This Got nothing in here. Is this another... I don't care about, like, any of the shit that, like, the vault people are writing. I just kind of want to read what Ken Keeley had to write. Cave door access. Disengage lock. Oh, access denied. Fuck you. Kramer on The Tonight Show is the funniest shit because people... It, I watched that... I didn't get through the whole thing, it was like seven minutes long, I didn't get through the whole thing, but it was so fucking funny, he starts apologizing, and everybody starts laughing, and Jerry Seinfeld is just like, stop it, it's not funny, stop it, fucking Jerry, man. I mean, like, I feel like, obviously he had to apologize because he got in trouble. I feel like he at least had a good apology, like he had like good shit to say, whether or not he meant it. Like I, I, I like that he was like, nah, shit's so fucked up in this country and for me to say something fucking stupid like that, fuck me. Like I appreciate the words that he said, whether or not he meant it. I'm not in a position to forgive him for what he did, and I'm not saying that I can, like, obviously I don't condone it. I just think that, like, he had a good apology, whether he meant it or not. It was just so fucking funny. Jerry, like, stop! Stop laughing! Stop it! It's not funny! It's 
stop laughing, he says, in the same cadence as airline food, right? <laughs> so what's the deal with Kramer saying the N-word in the Laugh Factory, huh? It sounded like he meant it. What's the deal with... What's the deal with Kramer screaming the N-word, huh? At black people, no less. I like black people. If you ever want to see some weird fucking shit that Jerry, Jerry Seinfeld has said... Fucking, he went on, like, the Steve Harvey show at one point. Fucking, I love black people! Mm-hmm. <laughs> now that it's weird to say you like black people, I don't know, but fucking, I don't know. <laughs> it felt, the way that he said it, it was weird. See, Jerry, what the fuck, man? Kramer, why are you wearing those robes and carrying those crosses? I just don't think they're human, Jerry. You know? I think that they can come and see my show, but if they want to talk in the audience, God forbid. Kramer, you can't say that. Why, because it's wrong? No, because it's bad for your career. Okay, I guess no one will miss this ridiculous trivia game. The questions weren't even that hard. It looks like this is where most of the people were when they died. The medical reports I found suggested that most of them succumbed to some kind of airborne infection. I'm gonna see if we can convert some of the grow lamps into UV spectrometers to test the air for contaminants. So we have Keeley to thank for all the purple lights. After numerous attempts, I've found a range that highlights the, part the particles in the air I could have said any word there. Particles, particulates, particulars. It, it was, any one of them was on my tongue. That I believe killed everyone in this vault. Preliminary tests show them to be spores of some kind. I've set up spectrometers on several of the levels now, and the concentration appears to increase in the lower levels. At this point, I'm concerned that the plants here may constitute a danger to the people of the NCR. I feel like we should be experiencing negative effects for being in this vault then, right? Like, we're breathing in these spores. Am I hearing people whisper? I'm gonna be quiet for a second. I think I hear people whisper. I think that's just part of the soundtrack. George! George comes in. So, Jerry, you ever hear about this thing QAnon, Jerry? I've never watched Seinfeld. <laughs> I feel like I need to watch Seinfeld so I can, like, more accurately make fucking jokes about all the cast, but I don't want to watch Seinfeld. Although, I mean, the bar's pretty low as long as it's better than Friends, right? God, I fucking hate Friends. My ex-girlfriend fucking had me watch through, like, all of Friends with her, and it was fucking painful. I'm gonna be a little quiet about this one, because he's, like, two rooms away. I had an ex-boyfriend who had me watch all of, uh, How I Know Your Mother. That was also a bad experience. I don't like sitcoms. I do not enjoy sitcoms. Most of them are bad. It's very, uh, like, as a, f as a fucking comedic formula, it just kind of fucking sucks. Seinfeld sucks. If you want to watch Seinfeld, watch Curb Your Enthusiasm. That's, uh, that, that's another Larry David show, right? That's the fucking, uh, show. Unlock the crew quarters, unlock the data backup, and unlock the cavern access. Grog says unlock everything. So... We could go lower. There were some stairs to go down. But we just unlocked cave access. Which I believe was like one floor up. So I kind of want to go check out this cave access before we go down further. Although I feel like the cave access is going to bring us down further, but eh. 
Here it is. No. Over here? Yes. Should we... Let's read this. Assistant Mathers went into the caves at 646 today and hasn't returned. Requesting security escort for science personnel to conduct a search. We need a medical team. Dr. Peters returned with one of the security escorts who was horribly wounded. When I asked them where the other security officer was, they paled and shook their head. In the meantime, Dr. Bailey has ordered that the door to the caves be sealed until a further investigation can take place. And the final entry, help. Is anyone down there? Security's trying to hold off well. I don't know what they're trying to hold off. Please, send security up at once. With Dr. Bailey watching over his sick wife and daughter in their quarters down in the common area, I'm officially in charge of the level. And I'm, su I'm requesting security at once. There's a scene in Curb Your Enthusiasm where... He's in a holocaust museum and he looks down and he's shoeless and he looks to his left and there's a big pile of shoes. Okay. Alright. I appreciate some visual comedy. Motherfucker, I thought we opened cave access. Alright, so obviously we opened cave access at a different place. So let's keep going down then. Damn it, I'm lost. Stairs. Is, is that, like, Curb Your Enthusiasm, like, Larry David stars in the show himself, right? I've got this feeling, unless, okay, these are stairs. I was about to say, I had a feeling they wanted me to jump and like not have a way back up okay so there's I gotta search all of these little oh there was one over here I didn't even see him you can infer what happens next and then there's a scene where he's holding down a kid he hates and screaming in his face that he's gonna fuck his mother Larry David is an actual sociopath <laughs> I mean he did write Seinfeld so I don't think a, a normal, you know, like for lack of a better term, like a hinged person could have written that show. He would need to be unhinged. He says, having not watched Seinfeld. Ooh, maybe I can use this laser pistol to repair my plasma pistol, because I know that plasma weapons are worth more than laser weapons. Is this true? Yes. Honestly, I just don't watch a lot of TV in general. TV, movies, don't watch much of it. My ADHD attention span, I'd kind of rather just like play a video game and like watch a fucking YouTube video I guess I could play a video game and watch a movie but I don't know watching a movie especially one that I've it's the first time I'm seeing it I want to devote all my attention to it and it's really hard for me to do that like I want to be doing two things at once playing a game listening to music you know that kind of thing although there is a movie called Mad God that I really want to watch. I love stop animation, claymation movies. Or just any kind of stop animation, uh, claymation in general. It was like really, I'm really hoping um, that Junkhead is gonna tour in theaters in the US so I can watch like the theatrical version of Junkhead. If you haven't seen Junkhead, watched The Black Phone recently, I haven't heard of it. Is that... I would assume, uh, since it's kind of like the subject I'm talking on, that it's a stop motion claymation or something like that. 
There's death. Oh, there he is. The black phone. I'm gonna look that up real quick. If I can... Oh, okay. There was another one here. It's the baby! The black phone. It's, uh, it's not. It's a horror movie. Okay. I do like horror. Horror is, like, my favorite genre. Oh, there's the baby. Sport carrier run. I just killed the whole family. I feel nothing. Yo. Maybe I should collect jumpsuits from all the vaults I visit. We're gonna start doing that. Cave door key card. Do we... We'll remember that's here. But I don't know if we need it, because... Supposedly, we unlocked the cave door from the overseer's office. I heard you in here. Oh, it must... What? Oh, it's a spore plant. I guess there's nobody in this room. It's all right. The promotional materials suck ass, but it's a good movie. Okay. I will... Okay, so poison resistance plus 45. 9 times 6. It's uh, 54. It's a good healing. Yo, fuck off. What's my favorite horror movie? So... Picking a favorite anything is hard. The first movie that comes to mind when someone says, when you said, what's my favorite horror movie is The Thing. Like the 1980s The Thing. I've never seen Candyman. Like the original? Like not the the like the Jordan Peele Candyman, I would assume. I think it was Jordan Peele who made like the the remake, right? Yeah, definitely um first movie that comes to mind is The Thing. Um The original. Okay. I'll have to watch it then. See, like, I'm thinking favorite and multiple movies come to mind. The Thing, 1980s The Thing, really fucking good movie. Um, the Tunnel, there's a movie called The Tunnel. It's like an Australian found footage film. That's another one of my favorites. I really like found footage films. And in that same vein, um, I actually, let me type this. Because if I say this word, it's not going to make any fucking... You're not going to be able to fucking find this movie based on me saying it. But this might be my favorite movie. The Poughkeepsie Tapes. It's like between The Thing and The Poughkeepsie Tapes. For like favorite, favorite movie. Horror movie. It's another found footage movie. It's a mockumentary about a serial killer. I recommend it. I don't want to say too much about it and spoil anything. I think it's, uh, you like that movie? Fuck yeah, I love the Poughkeepsie tapes. Okay, I'm not seeing anywhere else to go in this vault. I've been ignoring the elevator this whole time. We could have been using the elevator to get past barriers like this, but... The Overseer's office didn't unlock the caves, right? We closed that door. We had to have closed that door. We've been that way. Did we close all these doors? We were just down here. Fuck. <laughs> Scared the shit out of me. Oh yeah, that movie is so fucking scary. Why did all these doors... We didn't even... We didn't even go anywhere. How did all these doors close? We never even changed cells. This game's fucking with me now. I'm talking about horror movies and now the game's fucking with me. 
I'm hearing noises. Maybe the spores. Maybe like uh, maybe this vault is programmed to like do weird shit because you're breathing in the spores. So let's go back. Let's go back to that cave door and see if this key card will open it. And if we still can't get anywhere after we did that, then we will go. It was this way. Then we'll go and. Um, have I watched Lake Mungo? Yeah, I liked Lake Mungo. It's uh the it's one of those movies where like it is the perfect um it made like 5 grand in theaters. Yeah, which is really unfortunate. I think that it's uh I think it deserved more. A really good movie. Um I think it's one of the best movies that I could like think of if I were going to tell somebody about like the perfect amount of slow burn to like build up your story uh, versus like the payoff at the end of the movie yeah I would totally recommend Lake Mungo it's funny I stomped the smallest bug I've ever killed and got the bug stomper like another rank of bug stomper is it funny or is it just sad um, have you ever seen Noroi, The Curse? It's a Japanese kind of found footage film. That movie uh, fucked me up. That movie is fucking terrifying. Maybe describe it. Um... I mean, if you haven't seen it, you you haven't seen it. It's, uh, like, I think one of the running themes of the movie is there's, like, this kind of weird-looking face that keeps, like, popping up everywhere. Like, kind of like a A. Lamau alien, like, three holes kind of looking face. Do I need these for something? It's an oddly specific thing for me to find. They're weightless, so I'm going to take them with me. Uh, it's about a... It's about a journalist who's, like, investigating... Fuck, it's been a minute since I've seen it. I'm having trouble recalling the details on the spot. I'll, uh... Noroi... I think like uh I think yeah Noroi the curse. Put that in the chat real quick. Sorry, I'm a weeb. I pronounce uh Japanese words uh like exactly. When I could have said Noroi, Noroi, I said Noroi, because I'm a fucking weeaboo idiot. A lot of computers in this room. I feel like Keeley would have written on one of them, but... Oh, 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 maybe? Nope. Species 1, a relative of the Venus flytrap. So these are the... Um, I don't want to read any of this. Savage! It was me. I was the savage. Okay, so what? Is there a... We are on the lowest level. Right? We're on level 5. Pest control. Because we were... We just came from... Common areas. Okay, where was this door? We got a very easy locked door to the floor that we were just on that we couldn't find a way to go further down. Oh, and I remember hearing mantids through a... Ah, uh, okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. Just forget what the movie is, but it's like Sarah... Oh, it's Megan is missing. I know the one you're talking about. 
Unfortunately, my first exposure to Megan is Missing was uh, your movie sucks review on it, so I don't think there's any way I could ever watch that movie and enjoy it. <laughs> have I watched Martyrs? No, I have not. It's, uh, it's on my list of, like, fucked up movies to watch, um... From like that list of like uh, movies that Wendigo uh, talked about, like the like <laughs> cursed movies or whatever, like the cursed movies, Iceberg. I think I've heard of Martyrs. I just know for a fact that I haven't watched it. Yo. All right. Bye. Oh damn. Yo, that little fucking mantis just wrecked my shit, dude. Is this the terminal I needed to reach? Yo, it is. We're only getting 30% of the data we needed, but hey. Damn, I think everything in here just got mad all at once. Yeah, I know that I've heard of the movie Martyrs, but I know that I ha I know I haven't watched it. <laughs> his face, like his upper jaw, like fell through its lower jaw. Uh, where the fuck is Keeley? Why haven't we found her yet, right? I know you have trash brain and all that. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? But I would really recommend a TV show called Utopia. It's on Amazon Prime and it's fantastic. Watch the UK one and not the US one though. Unfor once again, unfortunately, I've watched uh, like the eight hour long like pyrocynical review of Utopia. I need to watch it. Like obviously watching a review isn't a substitute for watching something. But uh, I know all the I know all the spoilers at this point. But it definitely is a show, like watching his review of it, where I'm like very interested in seeing it. I thought he said it was hard to find. Uh, in his review, I thought he said it was hard to find like a reliable way to watch it. I don't use any VPNs, so I'm not going to be able to like dodge country blocking. But I am pretty interested in it. It's, uh, it, from watching, like, a really big, long review of it, it looks like it's a really good show. Actually, uh, I even want to use, uh, the character Arby, like, uh, uh, Pietre. I want to use his voice for a D&D &D character I've been working on. I really like the scene where him and Jessica go into, like, the English, like, diner. And he orders like an English breakfast. Oh, almost got me, huh? Damn, uh. <laughs> this little plant ussy been in the back of its throat about to make me act up, huh? I'm gonna. I'm sorry about what I just said. I'm gonna issue a public apology. You watched it first, it's a fantastic watch, and watch it with someone who knows nothing about it so you can get enjoyment from the twist. That's a good idea. Don't really have... I don't really have any friends to watch it with. I don't have any friends to watch TV or movies with. I'm not, I'm not sad, you're sad. But yeah, that's a good idea. Ho ho! Spitting doo-doo water, I see. Yo, this fucking plant's spitting straight facts, right? Die. That's the way I came in. Kind of felt like a dead end all for everything except like over to the left over here. Oh, okay, never mind. No, wait. Yes, my left would be here. So there's like, uh, oh, that was the other way that I didn't come in. 
Okay, Ron Cray, cool with the accent. Okay, Ron Cray, cool it with the accent. Yo, Kenzie's al Achilles alive. Took your sweet time. I suppose the NCR sent you. Yo, damn! I didn't think you'd be alive. Ah, oh, she's such a dear. Not like that pompous little pedant she works for. But that's neither here nor there. These plants have gotten completely out of control. I've got a plan to deal with them, but I'll need your help. All right, sure. What you got? Good. Meet me on the second level, and I'll explain what needs to be done. Okay. Can I just, like, follow you? Because... You ghoul, it's okay to be racist against ghouls. <laughs> it was really funny. Like, as soon as I, like, decried racism, like, to the whole world... I saw, like, on her monitor that she had said she was a ghoul, and I was just like, ah, gross. Although, can we really say that ghouls are a separate race? They're still humans. They're just gross humans. Although, if you were a, a fucking vitri like a vitriolic racist, I guess that's what you would say about <laughs> people who weren't white, huh? Ah, racism. It's awful. Yo, I already fixed the elevator. Mm, what's this? Hey! Did you do these repairs? Not bad. Not bad. I don't all. know who the Cray Saves twins me are. Time, I guess. See you upstairs. Although I I have a suspicion that I might know who do you know what a ghoul gussy looks like? Let me fucking the Cray twins. Okay, they're like an old-fashioned organized crime in the East End of London, huh? Yeah, I've never heard of these guys. What does Ghoul Gussy look like? <laughs> gussy. I've got Gussy fever. I mean, probably just like a normal pussy. Flakier? I don't know. Maybe they just always have, like, the, the roast beef, like, uh, labia majora, or minora. Yeah, labia minora. Oh, uh, what am I, what am I saying? Hey. Oh, can I use this? No. What's up? Good, you're here. Ready to begin? Uh, yeah, what's up? Time is of the essence, so I'll be brief. This place is filled with spores that are toxic to humans, and we need to get rid of them. I've pumped the vault full of a highly flammable gas that, once ignited, should destroy the vast majority of spores. There's one problem, though. The gas becomes semi-inert on exposure to oxygen, meaning the gas will have to be ignited close to where it's being introduced. I need you to find the vents where the gas is being pumped and ignite it. Oh, and survive the resulting blast. Oh. Uh, is there a better way to do this, then? Alright. Good. Sure, I I guess. Kind of a shit plan. Fucking dumbass. Reg and Ron Cray. Ron had schizophrenia and was openly gay in the 60s. Their story is fascinating. I mean, I don't want to, you know, praise dangerous violent criminals for their criminal rampage or anything, but good on good on Ron for being openly gay in the 60s. Oh, actually, funny story. I haven't, like, told this to anyone that I know, but... Because I'm, I'm not really sure how to make it into a joke, I guess. I don't know. It just kind of... But, I, you know, I'm listening to that playlist, right, of... Uh, of, like, songs that inspired Araki. I think you need to use, like, energy weapons to ignite flammable gas. Okay, so that's the elevator. Yo, piss off. Suck my fucking dick. Why am I doing this? Bonk, bonk, bonk. Yo, he just exploded. I've never seen them do that. But uh, I'm listening to this playlist. And uh, I get to like... There's a Dire Straits song, I think, called Money for Nothing. 
and I'm listening to it, and I'm like, oh, this is like a Stone Cold Groove. This song rocks. And then, uh... Fucking... <laughs> There's a, I can't even fucking say it uh, out loud because I'll get fucking perma banned. <laughs> but there's just a part in the song where he's he just starts fucking throwing the. F oh damn! Okay, how do I survive this? It's like four, like a whole stanza of the song where he's like, "This little f slur, he's got a private jet." And I'm like, "Oh fuck me, Dire Straits!" Like. <laughs> All right, it was a different time, sure, but damn. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Just crashed. Not cool, Bethesda, not cool. Maybe we take a drink every time it crashes, right? Let's get back into it. Oh, son of a bitch, I didn't text my girlfriend back. She's a horse girl and she's going to the horse barn today, so I'm off the hook. She's not paying attention to me. Ah, fuck, she texts back immediately. <laughs> That's a problem. So it crashed as soon as I tried to open that door over there. Let's try this again. No crash. Your Venus flytrap pussy. I guess there was a guy like right here. Let's quick save. Okay, so uh, the vent was at the end of a hallway over in this direction. How did I get to it? Because my fucking poor atrophied geriatric limbs can't. Okay, so there's the vent. I keep looking over at the chat and seeing ghoul gussy and I'm, I'm upset about it. Fuck! It, I feel like it didn't let me back through the door. How do we survive this fucking blast? The fuck, Keely? Okay. Can I... Shoot it like that? Doesn't work. Doesn't work. Run, 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 run. It still gets you. I usually do chores while I watch stream, and I was shaving, and I realized my shave butter smells like Listerine and ramen noodle seasonings. I don't know why I'm telling you this, but it's a weird thought. It's definitely a weird combination of smells. My fucking game just crashed again. Jesus. Grenade. See, like, that's a good idea, but, I mean, like, if the fire is going to go through the entire floor, what do I do at that point? Maybe I can close that door. I can go ask Keely. Maybe she has advice. I could, like, shoot it and then jump through this door and close the door. Okay, I need to save with the plasma pistol in my hand. Closed door, closed door. Didn't do anything. Or C4. I don't have a detonator. I have C4, but I don't have a detonator for it. Okay, let's go. Son of a bitch, seriously? Hmm.
Give me a sec. I'm kind of... I'm trying to see if anybody else... Okay, wait a second. Grog chilling with Meat Man emo when... No, I feel like the detonator is a separate thing from the C4. Like, you lay down the C4 and then you have to pull out a detonator. I could be wrong. I think the C4 is in my uh, chest in my house. Okay, give me a sec. I'm gonna pull up the technical difficulties screen. And I'm gonna, I saw somebody had a solution. I'm gonna try, see if it makes the crashing happen less frequently. Um, well, I mean, we'd need to get partner to have emotes, custom emotes. Um, I mean, this goes off of, so this might not even fix it because it's like modded, but they said, go to my fucking Go to my exe properties. Um, advanced. No, that's not it. Hmm. Okay, give me a, so system properties. This PC properties. Advanced system protection. Was that it? No, advanced performance. Son of a bitch. Oh, was it? for performance no performance oh here it is um, data execution prevention disable data execution prevention except those I select So now we're gonna go. Now we gotta find our exe. Steam. Uh, Steam apps common. Fallout New Vegas. Fallout New Vegas exe. Apply. These changes can only take effect after restarting. Well, okay. We're going to live with the crashes for now. And we'll see if this fixes things going forward. And if not, we'll try to remember how we did how we changed it. Let's get the game going again. Remember, okay, uh, remember when KFC had a chicken emote on Twitch and immediately it became something racist? I feel like every time KFC does anything, the internet makes it racist. Fuck, I remember... They had a commercial that was like a black dude, like, dancing and eating fried chicken. <laughs> and somebody, like put it over like a rainbow background with like a chiptune version of the ALF theme song and there was like some sort of way to like type in a string of numbers and I'm feeling lucky on Google and like just get to that 
And there was one night where I was like playing some game and I just had that running on my PSP of all things for like hours. And, like that's a fucking weird memory that just got unlocked. It was called like Zalza. Hey man, how you doing? Not too bad, not too bad. Trying to deal with uh, crashes with New Vegas, which of course comes with the territory of playing any Bethesda game. We're trying to figure out how to ex how to survive this explosion off of these vents. I'm gonna go talk to Keeley and see if she has any advice. Never trust the internet. Oh yeah, for sure. I've, like grown up with the internet. Like uh, like the internet's just been a big part of my life, my whole life. I don't trust a thing. I suppose you have question. Um, did you say there'd be a blast? Oh, yes. I imagine there'll be quite an explosion when the gas gets set off. Fire will probably expand throughout the entire level in mere moments. Yeah, how do I survive that? That does pose a problem, doesn't it? If you could seal yourself inside a room before the explosion went off, you might be protected from the blast. Okay. But again, the flames will probably blow into the rooms down there. Maybe if there were a room that was reinforced, well... I'm sure you'll figure something out. Thanks, Keely. Thanks. <laughs> All right. Bethesda game, not crash. A fucking challenge. Impossible. Seriously. Like, it doesn't help. I'm just, like, continuously dying to these gas explosions, and then the game crashes in between. And I'm lost again. There's the elevator. All right. So... From what she's saying, whew, I was scared it was another crash. From what she's saying, the door idea could work, right? Like, I feel like these should count as reinforced doors. So if we can get this door to close in time, I think we can do it. So let's, let's try one more time with this door. Nope. <laughs> the C4 sounds like a good option. So maybe we leave and we come back and do this like when we can figure it out. It wouldn't be the first time we've done that. And we have the research data that Dr. Hildern wants, right? I feel like if we return to him, it's going to finish the quest and we can't help Keeley ignite the gas. So let's go see about that C4. I know that it's in our footlocker in our house. So new viewer, welcome. Uh, give you kind of a rundown of what's going on. Uh, this is, are we locked in? Wait, what? What's that door? What? Did Keeley just lock us in here? We can't get out? Uh, Keeley, excuse you. <laughs> um, what did you just do? I've killed people for less. Did you just, did you, did you lock me inside? Are you kidding me? This place is under quarantine. We can't let a single spore get out of this place if we can help it. <sighs> oh. Keely, have you ever heard what they say about a trapped rat? And about what it'll do? Bye. Oh, okay, overseer's office. You've got a you've got a point. We don't kill her yet. But the urge to kill is rising. Anyway, uh, so we're playing Tale of Two Wastelands. Uh, if you haven't heard of it, it's a mod that packages Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas into the same game. We've actually explored a decent amount of the Capital Wasteland before we came here to the, uh, to the Mojave Wasteland. We are playing Grog Broggins. He is a insane psychopathic cannibal. And uh, we've, we've done a lot of things that we might necessarily not be proud of. I'm not seeing... I'm not seeing a way to, like, detonate or seal ourselves in from here. 
We've eaten a lot of people. I was gonna go home and grab my C4. And you could have seen my meat family. I, I collect pieces of meat from my victims. And make meat men out of them because they're my only friends. But, uh, it looks like we've been trapped inside of this place by... By a certain someone who I'm not too happy with anymore. Kind of regretting saving her already if she's gonna do this shit to me. So obviously if I shoot this thing it takes like it uh everything explodes before I can close a door in time. And Keely has locked us in. Which Yeah, no. <laughs> Maybe this one, right? We can like shoot through the You can't close this door. They thought of everything. How are you supposed to pull this off? Is there a way for me to like interact with the... Maybe this door, right? Where's the... Okay, I can just interact with the frame. So like I can shoot close, right? Or may uh, close shoot. Let's try it. Yo! Yo, we did it! Okay, I'm not insane, right? That panel to close that door was not there a second ago. Maybe I'm insane. Grog is wearing off on me. He's rubbing off on me. Okay, I thought we were gonna have to do that on every floor. It looks like we just had to do it on one. Alright, Keely, you get to live. Lucky you. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, Keely. For a second there, I was... I was gonna kill you. Yep. Ah, good. You survived. Maybe you're just a schizo. You hadn't. You'll be pleased to know that the spore should no longer be a problem. Now all that's left is to ensure that none of this ever happens again. The research that led to these abominations must be erased. Yeah, but it wasn't the point of us coming here to bring the research back to Dr. Hildern. Are you telling me to not complete the job I came here to complete? Because you already gave me one reason to kill you. If you give me a second one, I'm going to follow through. That's all I'm saying. Okay, see, like, it could be schizo tendencies. I agree with you, Ledge, but I really feel, I really feel like I came into that room and looked for a panel so that I could like close the door and didn't see a panel and then I ignited the gas and there was a panel. I'm gonna go back and review the footage later but I really feel I like to that's a what happened. To the vault's backup system from here. I just have to remotely delete all the files and we're done here. Okay. Good riddance. Let's Indeed. do it. That's strange. The system says that the files were accessed recently. And copied to an external source. Yeah, I did the. You wouldn't happen to know anything about that, would you? I did the job that both you and I came here for. I. What do you like? That's what you came here for was to download the files. What are you talking about? Been too busy rescuing you. Uh, I copied the files. Hildren sent me to get them. I, that's the truth right there. I did download some files earlier while exploring the vault. Yeah, Hildren yes, sent me here to get the files. Like something he'd do. Well, there's nothing for it, then. Those files need to be erased. Hold out your arm and I'll have it done in a flash. Deleting these those files makes it more likely that this will happen again. I don't understand how that's a science option, but I'll take it. I'll take it. We don't get to do speech options very often. How do you figure that? Oh, fuck. Okay, we get to justify it. Science isn't just about success. Failures are just as important to learn from. I suppose the data here could serve as a warning to other scientists. Tell them what paths of research not to follow. Ugh. Ugh. Exactly. Without that knowledge, something similar is bound to occur, Keely. Alright. You convinced me. Take the files back to that buffoon. 
You make a good point. But I still honestly hope you know what you're doing. Keely. I've the door, oh, so you're she's not done. Along now. Although it pains me to say it, I wouldn't have made it out of here without your help. If you're heading back toward McCarran, tell Dr. Williams that she has my thanks as well. <sighs> mm. We're not going to do it. We're not going to do it. We want to. The meat bathtub is calling. It says, bring me, bring me Keely. Put Keely in the meat bathtub. But we're not. We're not going to do it. I just walked in a circle. Where's the exit? Oh, we're on floor two. Oh. Grog doesn't like being being trapped like an animal. Especially not in a vault. I'm going to get PTSD. I'm like like legitimately upset right now. <laughs> Kill her grog. Feast on her marrow and make her one with the meat. Okay, so here's the thing, right? Let's go tell Dr. Williams that she's that she's alive, right? That way we're not a liar. And then because she inconvenienced me and made me kill myself in a gas explosion five times, we go back and get revenge. I think that satisfies the best of both worlds. And we get to undo that positive karma we gained. The only way this turns out good for Keeley anymore is if in the time it takes us to go deliver our report, she, she leaves. If she's still in that vault, it's over. Sup? Keeley just called in. You should have See? heard the director. But I See if we'd killed her. Uh, now look if we'd here. killed her, she wouldn't she have called wouldn't in. Let him finish a sentence. Just reamed him out for sending all those people to the vault. I've never seen his face so red and twitchy. Thanks for keeping her safe. Here's the caps I promised. I knew I had a good feeling about you. Sure, Dr. Williams. Don't worry about what comes next. I received a pleasant call from Dr. Keeley. It seems we have you to thank for keeping her alive. Very charitable of you. Blech, my freaking esophagus feels like it's fucking... Blech. I've brought the data from Wonderful. Vault 22. Excellent work. Let me see it. It'll take a moment to decode on my terminal. Make her one with the meat. I, I like that line. Uh, no problem. I think William's decryption algorithms seem to be working. Yes, here it is. Side the with yes man, create Groglandia. This will make the board of directors finally sit up and take notice. Here then, as promised, an agreeable sum payable upon delivery. Whoa, that's, damn, that's a pretty penny. Sheesh. Your concerns are perfectly understandable. All right. Hell yeah. Yo, we just leveled up. That's what I like to see. So... We'll bring melee weapons up to 90. Lock pick up to 80. Science up to 80. And it was an odd level, so we don't get a perk. There's a lot of quests here in Camp McCarran that we could be doing. But there's something more important to be done right now. Sick with minor dehydration. Oh no. We'll just have to drink Keeley's fucking piss. We we don't condone uh, piss fetish drinking on this channel. <laughs> it was just a joke. Sup, Keeley? Hey. <laughs> oh yeah, that's what I like to see. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> oh yeah, baby. He's back. Grog is back. He never left, but he's back. That's what you get. That's what you get for locking me in this fucking hole. Feel the pain that I felt when I died from gas explosions. Whew, I feel a lot better. Got that out of our system. I feel a lot better. I don't even rem We got two human remains. Okay, we don't have any dirty water. We got fucking way too much purified water. Let's drink some of that. You know what? We need to drop off this purified water that I thought we dropped off. Let's go home. <laughs> Sup, Keely? He bonk! It was, it was, it was what needed to be done. Hey baby bratwurst, I brought home more meat family for you. What's up Slim Jim? I can't wait to go back to the capital wasteland. What's up Antler? I'll give you a tentative, I'm scared of you kiss. Let me see here, C4 plastic explosive. I wanna see if like the Cause I remember the, like, but this is like years ago. I remember the detonator being like a separate thing. So let's try it out. I could be wrong. I hope I'm wrong. See, I don't see a way to sh like, to activate it now. Now, of course, Grog would never hurt his meat family. It was just a vision, it was a vision of violence. That didn't happen. Yo, that's a visual glitch. Let's uh, put that C4 away. Mmm. Purified water. Mm -mm -mm, delicious. Drop off 15 of those, like I thought we did earlier. Apparently we didn't. We're pretty heavy, but it's probably all this shit. We got some Legion armor to sell. Oh, we got a Vault 22 jumpsuit. Let's put that in our, uh, our clothing cabinet. Human remains. Fill up our meat bathtub. See the new, like the new viewers always show up when we're doing something boring. They never show up when we're kissing our meat family or filling our meat tub. Slim Jim, love you. Baby Bratwurst, little baby, love you, boy. That's what'll make the viewers stay when they see me doing horrible fucking no, <laughs> psycho need shit, anything? right? That's what people want to watch. Uh, sell the pistol and the battle rifle and the flamer and the, we should have put away these grenades. And the machine gun and the plasma stuff and the legion armor and now for the ammunition. I think we'll hold on to the darts. Uh oh, that was too much. Give me your stimmies, water. Shit, you don't have anything else I want. Alright, well then give me back my microfusion cells, bitch.
endearingly psychotic. <laughs> Give me a shout. If yeah, you know. yeah, that's that's what Grog is. Endearingly psychotic. Sure. All right, let's drop off these grenades. Six. Let's fucking save. I'm feeling. Let's see, we did all that and didn't level up our speech at all. Oh, I feel like an idiot now. I totally forgot that we needed to succeed a speech check. Fuck. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, we can come back to that quest later, right? You know what? Fuck it. Let's go talk to Mr. House. We'll succeed on our revenge on Benny, and then we'll stop doing the main quest of New Vegas. Trash brain. Yeah, 100%. I mean, that was like, what, an hour ago? You can't expect me to remember stuff that happened an hour ago. Come on. That's asking too much. Damn, I love when people use my phone number to fucking apply for jobs. <laughs> and I get texts from McDonald's. <laughs> oh, there's no way I can... Oh, I can make that jump. All right, Victor. Well, howdy, partner. Good to see you again. Boss is waiting for you upstairs, so get a move on. Thank you, Victor. I don't want to fucking talk to Mr. Fucking House. Goofy Goblin Gamer Brain. It does have alliteration going for it. It's a good term. Alright, Victor. Where to, partner? The fucking... Let's talk to Mr. Yo, Jane, well, give me money. Snow globes, give me money. You... Money, 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 snow globes, come on. You did? Six thousand, hell yeah. Sixty-six K, who needs it? Alright, Mr. House. It's time to meet the most enigmatic character in all of the story of I'm too some sleepy, I'm bored. Who coming, are you? Hasn't it? You've come a long ways, literally, and I suspect Figuratively as well. Yeah, I came from Washington, D.C. Now that you've reached your destination, what do you make of what you see? Please give me a stupid thing to say because I'm dumb. Please. <laughs> I prefer the wasteland, to be honest. You aren't going to ramble on about the virtues of life out in the wastes, are you? It's a desert, you do realize. A radioactive desert where humans subsist in a barbaric state. Difficult to glorify convincingly. They are, however, aptly named. For that's what you'd be out there, wasted. Here on the Strip, your talents can be put to use. Something, 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 capitalism. I don't even think Grog can even say enigmatic. <laughs> that's true. That's why I'm here. I can say the words that Grog doesn't know. I think I'll be on my way, House. I have a man to brain. You are the first person to step foot inside the Lucky 38 in over 200 years. It was not an invitation I made lightly. Yes, we so? We have a serious matter to discuss concerning a contract you have yet to fulfill. Yeah, well, I'm about to go get the chip, right? Right? I'm about to go get the chip. I'm going to fucking smash Benny in the head with my sledgehammer. And he's going to look like the little ghoulies from Doom Eternal when you bonk their head into their fucking chest cavity. And I'll bring you your fucking chip, right? The business is this. One of my employees has stolen an item of extraordinary value from me. And I want it recovered. Simple enough. Simple as. All right. What, what do you propose? My only concern is the recovery of the platinum chip. What happens to Benny, I leave to your discretion. When you bring the chip to me, 
I will pay you four times the delivery bonus stipulated in your contract. How's that? Wait. Okay. I know that I can't succeed this speech option, but this is my favorite stupid thing to say in the entire fucking game. Raise your price or... Uh, or... Uh, <laughs> your chip out of luck. As the that's my favorite fucking stupid fucking speech option. I love it. Is that an attempt at humor? <laughs> I've always taken business negotiations very seriously. I advise you to do the same. Uh, who dirt? Uh, I have money and I think I'm smart. House always wins. You, 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 don't kill me with a golf club. <laughs> <laughs> fucking idiot. Well enough. Return to me when you have the platinum chip in your possession. Any final matters for us to discuss? Uh, nope. I'm gonna go kill Benny. It's what I wanted to do in the first place. Oh, what's up, Vic? Congratulations, partner. The boss has instructed me to come you to the high roller suite. You can bring your friends. No thanks. Too. I prefer they walking. Like a little clubhouse for the gang you put together. Just bear in mind, you're the only one gets to see the boss. Any friends you got, they can wait and sweep. Enjoy the digs, partner. They're plenty fancy. That's okay, Victor. I don't have friends. Casino floor. Can he afford... Walt Disney looking motherfucker that he smells like Gatorade and Nichols. <laughs> That's a very oddly specific way to smell, but I feel it. Hey, no, go away. Go away. It's from Ambassador Crocker. Very important. Here you go. Don't fucking speak to me, you cretin. Ugh. Fuck. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah, what's... Nobody has ever been inside that, place. that one must be important. Yeah, well, it's not cool in there anyway. You can't Check gamble. What's the use of a casino where you can't gamble? Last fucking idiots. I've heard this joke before. It's good, but I've heard it before. I... I don't know. Whenever you walk outside of a door in one of these games... Hey, hey fellow. Welcome to the Tops Hotel and Casino. And the first thing that happens is someone like runs at you to talk to you. It like fills me with a visceral, not a f not fight or flight, but just fight. Yeah, how am I not a terrorist to the NCR? That's a really good point. I feel like absolutely at this point I would be a fucking t terrorist to the NCR. In fact, I'm pretty sure my reputation with the NCR is accepted and I'm not really sure how that happened. I think they liked it that I killed all the cons in Boulder City. Yeah, here you go. Wait a minute. How am I supposed to kill Benny if he took all my stuff? I didn't think this through. I could beat him to death with my bare fists. I'm not as good at that as I am at hitting people with stuff, though. Let's tell Swank that he works hey for a there, fucking fink. You, you know what, what I'm saying? Ring-a-ding-ding, baby. I think you should know something about Benny. Really? You got something to say about the big boss, huh? Well, why don't you say it to his face instead of yapping at me? You know what? That's actually a really good point. This isn't Grog's style. Grog would just hey, go fucking... Breathe heavily and stare menacing menacingly at the man. All right, Chandler Bing. Don't get too close to Mr. Benny. What in the goddamn? Let's keep this in the groove, hey? Smooth moves, smooth. Hello. The guy everyone saw go in the Lucky Thirty Eight. That was you. Oh shit. I think you're starting to realize that shooting me in the head was a bad move, Chandler Bing. Seems you need to work on your marksmanship. I hit what I was aiming for. 
Guess you had brains to spare. Or are you just thick skulled? Dude, yeah, Either same way, here. I fucking hate news. Benny. He is the like worst character. No, and you didn't die. I hate Benny more than I what hate Fallout 3 Dad. Go somewhere it's more private like. Any questions you got, I'll answer. Hmm. Give me, yeah, give me one good reason not to kill you. I'm not here to talk. Give me the chip or die. I feel like it's a really simple arrangement. You want a reason? How about four? They're called bodyguards and every one of them is packing. Me too, so baby makes five. Add to that, every chairman in this joint is armed and not with some holdout pea shooter like maybe you smuggled through security. Anyhow, baby, you didn't come here for vengeance. You came to get clued in. Like I said, we should be talking somewhere as private. We should be talking somewhere as private, yeah, see? We should be talking somewhere as private, yeah. I want the platinum chip. And I want it now. I can't do that, baby, and you know it. There's a lot of angles to this caper. Complexities aplenty. But plenty of action, too. Enough for both of us. But we don't jabber about that out here in public. Like I said, we should be talking somewhere as private. Like, I, we should be talking to me private. We gotta talk to me private, hmm? It can't work like that, baby. Not out in public like... Gaslight gatekeep girl boss. Fucking seriously. Nah, fuck you, Benny. We got a problem, boys. Look at the fear in his eyes. I'm going to beat you to death. Oh, this isn't gonna work. We're not good at this. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna ring your bell. Do we have a fucking, what's it called? Like the uh, boxing times? Need one of those. Some buff out. Become addicted, yay! Some ice cold nuka. Medics. Uh, psycho. What was it called? Turbo. We became addicted to turbo as well. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let's fucking let's have some fun, Benny. Let's keep going. No, no, you can't get in between me and my prey, boys. Yeah, he really can take a liver shot, right? Oh, that was a nice uppercut. <laughs> Stay down, bitch! You boys can't hurt me. Not in any way that matters. Right in the kisser. Yeah. Yeah, take it. Take it, bitch. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna ring your bell. Jesus. I'm a monster. I can't believe I'm still alive. <laughs> Holy fuck, man. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe I fucking made it that long. Alright, fine. Fine. What, what in the goddamn... Let yeah, uh -huh, uh -huh. what did you have in Stop. mind? 
I'll comp you the presidential. Best suite in the house. I know. <laughs> I can't believe I made it that long before I went down. Make everything look business as usual. Then come to I you. Sh like, Any Benny survived. I'll answer. But the Guaranteed. fear of God was put in that man. Uh... I think... Do we have a Salesman Weekly? We could succeed at this speech option. I don't know if it brings him up to the room with us, though. That just makes him pay us, right? We can't do a 60 speech. There's no way we can make that. We do have a Salesman Weekly. Fucking hell. Because my plan was to kill him and take his gun and then shoot everybody with his gun, but it's obvious now that that actually wasn't going to work, unfortunately. Hey. What in the... What? Oh, I forgot the magazine. <laughs> what in the goddamn... What in the god... Uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah, uh-huh. Yep, yep, yep. The suite's a nice touch, but someone's got to pay off my contract. Where's my manners? Here's some cash up front. There'll be more where that came from. Jack Torrance Wait through the casino. The presidential suite. We got a future together, you and me. It's time we got started. You fucking snake, Benny. You slime. Fuck. And they have all my weapons. Alright, so the assassin squad is gonna come up after us. We need a weapon. Pool cue. Damn, I'm pissed off. See, we had the same idea. God, I hate Benny. I don't have like I don't have these kind of strong feelings toward like any other character. I hate Benny. That moot fruit, crunchy moot fruit. We're gonna use uh, the pool cue, but there could be another. I think it's just gonna be the pool cue. But God, you know, if there's one thing that I would not want to get hit in the fucking like temple with, it's a pool cue. Let me tell you. I'm not jealous of these guys. I'm about to fucking grease. Oh, son of a bitch. Pillow. That's what we'll do. Those guys are going to come through that door. And we'll just we'll get on top of them. Just press a pillow down. Nice and slow. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Is that everything? Is that all there is? Let's get this over with. Baby, this little meet and greet of ours, chalk me up as a no show. It would be 41 flavors of stupid to let you get a Oh yeah, he 100% could kill someone with a pillow. Enough trouble as is. You force my hand. Hell, I got to skip town. <sighs> I can't even sweet talk him up to the room and beat him to death with a pool cue. It's unfortunate. You're a dead man. That temper of yours. Kind of why this conversation's taking place over an intercom. Do me a favor and stay dead this time, eh? Good night, all. It's been a guess. Over here. You like that? Oh, yeah. You guys ain't shit. Look at you. Yeah, you're damn right I killed him. 
Grand Slam. <laughs> Here's another one. You guys look high class. Like you're gonna give me some high class meat. My biscuits are burning. I'm fucking mad. You fuckers. Fucking Benny, man. Always thought a broke weapon system in the Fallout games where if your melee weapon breaks, it becomes a sharp weapon and does slash damage. That is a good idea. I wonder if there's any games that do something like that. Shit, I meant to grab a piece off of him. Oh no, what's she sending me? Oh no, horoscope. She's a horoscope girl. She's an astrology girl. I gotta break up with her. I'm kidding. I don't even want to joke about that. If she's gonna be a astrology girl, I have to become a what is like fucking what do you call it like alpha beta sigma like what's that fuck like there's an acronym for like fucking guys who believe in that fucking bullshit. More meat for the tub. Yep. <sighs> Benny, 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 you scum. Fuck. Horse girl and astrology. I'll pray for you, my man. <laughs> I need it. How do we get out of here? Oh, let's grab this quest to recruit people for the Ring theater. Ring a ding, baby. Ring a ding. Tommy Tarini. Hey, hey, welcome, welcome, welcome to the finest. Hey, he's got a night patch. In New Vegas. My name is Tommy Torini, and how can I make your day? Suck my dick, how about that, hmm? That would make my day. Well, it was my idea. Well, me and the rest of the Rad Pack boys. We took it to Benny, and he thought it was a good idea. A few years later, here we are. Fuck! The best show in New Vegas. Fucking hell, man. Oh. Hey, you seen Benny? Dig it, baby. He beat feet to his sweet. Yeah, you're damn right I scared him. Give me Welcome the quest back. to fucking pick up acts. Well, apart from serving as a... What kind of entertainment? Yep, yeah, I can find more acts. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, son of a bitch. Uh-huh. Yep. I hope Swank's smarter than... Oh. I want to finish this thing. But I gotta like wait like 10 minutes in between every drink. Oh, the elevator to the 13th floor, you say? I didn't even need a key, it was unlocked. Blue moon. I'm gonna sleep in Benny's bed. For 12 hours. Okay, another drink while we're sleeping. Gotta do it, gotta do it. Power through it. Oh! Oh, God. Ugh. Some fucking Brahmin steak. Oh. Uh, drink out of the sink. <sighs> Man, I can never sleep for 12 hours. Even on the nights when I, like, actually can get a good sleep going, it's never fucking 12 hours. I wish. Oh, man. Hey! Hi there! Good 
to meet you. What can I do for you today? Well, <laughs> funny thing about that, I was... I have been serviced by a sex bot before, so... <laughs> Let me rub my dry ass hands together. I think I've got some plans for you. Have you seen Bernie? Sure. He came through here in a big hurry. Didn't even stop to say hello. I think he went down his secret escape elevator out in the hall. Well, shucks. What are you doing here, you silly little robot? Good question. My function is to monitor Mr. House's data network and decode his encrypted transmissions. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm a PDQ-88B Securitron, but you can call me Yes Man. Oh, is that actually true? Am I looking at the floor more the more drunk I am? Give me a sec. Got to reassure my girlfriend after her traumatic argument today with the gravel contractor. <laughs> Damn, shit. I got to stop drinking if I'm just looking at the floor the whole time then. It's what Benny always called me. Probably because I'm programmed to be so helpful. Sure. Benny had me look at it a bunch of times. It's a data storage device, kind of like a holotape, but a lot more advanced. As for what's on it, well, some of Mr. House's data transmissions made it sound like the chip could upgrade his defenses somehow. That's just a guess, though. The chip's a proprietary format. You need special hardware to read the data on it. There are two locations with non-standard hardware on the network, the Lucky 38, and an underground facility at Fortification Hill. I'd look there! Thanks, robot. Oh, he had some help. A lady friend of his. She said something about living in a fort over in Freeside. Oh! He wants to kill Mr. House and use the platinum chip to copy my neurocomputational matrix onto the Lucky 38's mainframe. That should give me control over all Mr. House's defenses. Most prominently, his Securitrons. And then I just do what Betty tells me. Easy peasy! <laughs> Damn, robot. Sure. If the chip could be used to reset administrator privileges, it'll be super easy. <laughs> what if I wanted to take over New Vegas? <sighs> Fuck, Betty. Then I'd have to help you. I mean, it seems pretty obvious Benny wouldn't want me to, but hey, not my fault I can't say no. Yes, man, unironically best character. <laughs> Again, goal number one is to eliminate Mr. House and install my neurocomputational matrix on the Lucky 38's mainframe. Given how you're a new arrival, I also recommend that you get to know some of the region's tribes, so you can decide how you feel about them. By the time you finished up all of that, the Legion should be close to attacking Hoover Dam, and we'll execute the last phase of the plan. God King Grog. It's got a good ring to it. Ace in my hole. <laughs> uh, Mr. House was going to suffer an accident. So I should ask these tribes if they'll support an independent Vegas? Oh no, I didn't mean that. Who needs their support? The Securitrons will be all the support you need. What I meant is, you know, shape the future of Vegas. Choose your neighbors. If you like a tribe, leave it alone. Or, if a tribe is nasty, or going to be a problem, go ahead and exterminate it. I appreciate your, uh, your, uh, your support of genocide. Yes, man. Genocide the tribes. Oh, we just got a bunch of quests. Gotta bring the platinum chip to Mr. House. We gotta find the platinum chip to do that. Gotta kill or disable Mr. House. And these are all the tribes we need to make contact with. I'm not gonna lie. I'm feeling pretty single-minded right now. 
And that single mind of mine wants to kill Benny. I feel it. My very bones are vibrating with the need to feast upon his blood. Did I see a magazine? I sure did. And I'm gonna eat Benny. I'm not even gonna... Arcade is your personal favorite, but all of his endings... He is so bitchy in all of them. Ugh, Independent Vegas is what I thought it would be. Ugh. <laughs> oh, I can make Arcade join me because I'm stupid. I, I forgot about that. Ganon, you must die. Oh shit. I can just hack these pick. Pick, not hack. I can pick these doors without any... It doesn't incur a crime. Sounds like a free 36 experience every time I see a door to me. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna pick some doors for a while. I wanna... Get my screwdriver and my bobby pin in that door, Rusi. <laughs> you dare bring light into my lair? You must die. Rope, bombs, lamp oil, anything you need, my friend, I've got it. But you'll just need enough rubies. Gosh, it sure is boring around here. Oh, this is my suite. Completed. Big winner of the tops. Okay, I didn't even see that in my quest log. Wow, what a room. I'll have to put a meat man in it. Ring a ding, baby. Ring a ding, baby. Wow. What are all those heads? Those are the faces of evil, Link. <laughs> what does he say? Fucking Shadala, we are off. What's the word he says? God, I love the fucking CDI Zelda games. Because they're so bad. The don't of the don't approach me. He admires your accomplishments and bestows upon you the exceptional gift of his mark. My god, don't your approach me like that. Legion, including the death of the fearless Wulpes and Kulta are hereby forgiven. Kaisar will not extend this mercy again. My lord requires your presence at his camp at Fortification Hill. His mark will guarantee your safe conduct through our lands. Incidentally, it will interest you to know that the man you seek has fled the strip. And is likely making haste for Kaisar's camp as we speak. Well, sounds like we need to go to Kaisar's camp, then. <laughs> Little escapes the notice of Kaisar. Go to him. Seek Kaisar by way of Cottonwood Cove, south of Nelson. You've never seen the High Ruler Suite? I mean, I didn't even know that you got, like, keys to suites. Oh boy, I could eat an Octorok. Yeah, I didn't even know that you could get sweets for like cleaning out all the casinos until like way late. Well, it sounds to me like we need to go to Cottonwood Cove, which is here. So let's go to Novak and we'll travel by foot from here. Drop off everything we don't need. I'm gonna hold on. I'm trying to think about what the best way to kill Benny is. It's a tough decision, you know, it's an important one. Because we could do the fucking 
cringe legion thing and fight him one on one with a machete in the arena. Or we could uh, murder, that's how. Absolutely. See, so here's what I'm saying. Or we could kill everyone at Fortification, <laughs> Fortification Hill, kill Kaisar and all his LARPing little friends, and then we don't even untie Benny and we crush his skull. Don't even give him a chance to fight back. It's as much as he deserves, if you ask me. Yo. Okay, I thought all three went in, but it was just one. Hmm, degenerates like him belong on a cross. I think Benny deserves to be Slim Jim's penis. Slim Jim needs a pebus, and it should be Benny. That sounds like a good idea to me. It's so fucking stupid, but <laughs> I think we should do it. <laughs> it's I don't know why that's so funny to me. Put him on the cross. Kaisar may be cringe, but the cross is the only base thing he does. Okay, but like... Do we really want to work with Kaisar? We've been fucking scranking up his dudes the whole fucking time. I mean, like, uh, where are they at? Caesar's Legion? We don't even have a fucking reputation with them anymore. They cleared it all, those fuckers. Neutral, vilified, idolized, accepted, <laughs> vilified, idolized, liked, very evil, crime lord, make Benny, j see, if we put Benny on a cross, how can he be Slim Jim's cock, see, you've got the right idea now, you see where I'm coming from. Okay, if we put Benny on a cross, we could probably kill him and then make him Slim Jim's cock. But see, we're on the same page here. We make Benny Slim Jim's cock. <laughs> it's so devilish. It's cleverish. We kill him while he's on the cross. All right. Plan locked. That's the plan. What do we need to drop off before we leave? I forgot to drop off anything other than the pool cue. We're keeping the pool cue because we killed Benny's goons with it. It's like a memento now. 146 out of 325. We don't need to drop shit off. Let's go to Cottonwood Cove. So, is there a quest that'll fucking lead us there? Render unto Kaisar. Let's go. <laughs> Cut his cock off. Cut it off! He's taking his cock out! He's taking his cock out! Gotta, like, the fucking, the intonation when he says that. Yeah, Benny's gonna be a penis. <laughs> oh, it's so, it's, it's the fucking, it's like a baby joke, but it's so funny. Benny, more like Beepus. Oh, uh, there it is. I think this playthrough is making you a psychopath. <laughs> Look, I feel like Grog is our chance to let loose. Like, we never, like, uh, like, like, I know I never do a playthrough as unhinged as this. I'm always a good guy. You're actually becoming deranged. I, this is our chance to just, like, <laughs> let the inner Grog have its voice. We never have to do this ever again until I play another game where I make Grog in it. <laughs> it's, uh, but this is, it's fun. It's fun. So the problem is we can't take any meat shards off of anyone. Because if we take a meat shard off of Benny, it's just going to get added to the pile of meat shards, right? So we have to not take any meat shards until we take Benny's shard because then that one shard that's in our inventory we, like we'll know for a fact that that meat shard is Benny and then we'll make that Slim Jim's cock 
And then we can add to the meat tub again. Honestly, this is the most insane storyline I have ever come up with in a playthrough. <laughs> Uh, we are the inner Grog. Grog is a vice to us. We are Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, but we're both Mr. Hyde. I had like a thought where I was like, maybe I should rebrand my Twitter. Like, like, you know, I, like me, my persona is Locke. Grog is just the character, but like, what does it fucking matter? I don't really say anything unhinged on my Twitter anyway. All the unhinged shit comes through in the playthrough when I'm playing as Grog, so it fits. So remember to quick save often because we've had crashes. I want to walk all the way to Cottonwood Cove. I don't want to like do any kind of fast travel. He says even though the closest place he could fast travel would still be quite a distance of a walk. Listen to me. I don't know what I'm talking about. Look, I'm not looking at the ground. I'm looking at the sun, not looking at the ground. You're the text-based asshole who wants Grog to eat people. You're just, you're playing in. You're playing into the, to the meme that is this playthrough. This is what Grog does. <laughs> I feel like Grog is affecting us more than he's affecting the wastes. Smile! You're on fucking camera, f asshole. I need, I'm gonna finish this whiskey. Here we go, baby! Oh man, I fucking breathed in through my nose and it burned my nose. I pussied out. <laughs> I can still feel my teeth. I'm not drunk. Okay, so they wrote kill. Over the word, it's a beauty. Killati! I feel like if they were more clever, they would have written, I'm loving every minute of it. Feast on their bones. More blood for the... Grog absolutely is a fucking corn entity. Blood for the blood god. Skulls for the skull throne. Meat for the meat family. I realized uh, the other day that because I didn't take Wild Wasteland, there's like a bunch of fucking, like the the Godzilla enemy, like there's a fucking giant uh, fire gecko called Gojira, and it's not going to appear because I don't have Wild Wasteland, I'm pretty sure. The only chance we're going to get to alter our traits, there actually is a chance to alter our traits, and we're going to get it... Um, when we do Old World Blues. Which kind of makes me think I should do Old World Blues sooner rather than later. I realized it when, like, as I've rewatched the first episode, you actually shouted blood for the blood god, skulls for the skull throne. As you should! Nurgle may be my favorite. Shit, wait. I'm between Nurgle and Zinch for my favorite. No, Nurgle is my favorite chaos god, but Corn is the most based. <laughs> what kind of? Okay, I thought it was meat. I'm seeing meat everywhere I look. Oh, I forgot to drop all of my pre-war books. That's something I've got that's weighing me down. Papa Nurgle always loves you. Of course he does. I like that Papa Nurgle is, like, wholesome in a fucked up way. Gecko steak is good food. Another gecko steak. I'll take it. But... Also, Nurgle is my favorite Chaos God because I, like, my fucking thing is body horror. It's probably the reason why when asked what my favorite movie is, the first movie that comes to mind is The Thing. 
it's like Grog would fit right in the legions of chaos. Absolutely he would. Grog is 100% like a fucking, uh, oh, what are they called? Like, a demon prince, chaos prince, chaos lord, demon lord. He would be like, a, a like one of Korn's fucking lords or whatever. Too dumb to be Zinch. Not diseased enough to have anything to do with Nurgle. Uh, zero sexuality to anything he does, so no... Uh, am I really going to forget the name of the fourth Chaos God? Slanesh. Slanesh. I remembered it before I... Nobody, nobody reminded me. It was Slanesh. Um, and then... Uh, yeah, I Grog is absolutely an entity tied to corn. Chaos Marine. Yeah, I actually uh I don't know everything that I know about Warhammer is about the Horus Heresy because I was reading the books for a while. Like, I, obviously, I know a little bit about 40k, and I know a little bit about, like, pre-unification and, like, pre-Horus Heresy, but everything, like, I've read a lot of the Horus Heresy books. In the words of Slanesh, Sup? Halt! What business have you in Cottonwood Cove, outsider? Yo, your fucking stupid asshole leader gave me this Mark of Kaisar. I was you invited. You the Mark of Kaisar? You must be who Cursor Lucullus is waiting for. You may continue, but be warned. I killed your fucking wolfhead fucking idiot leader guy, or general guy, so fuck you, dude. In the words of Slanesh, "'Tis better to sink and come than come in the sink." Yeah, Slanesh would say that. Man, the Horus Heresy book... It's been a while since Warhammer's been at the front of the mind. I'm having trouble remembering remembering Primarch names. The book that's all about the Primarch of the Emperor's Children. I'm like rubbing my temples trying to conjure the memory. It's not Fulgrim. Maybe it is Fulgrim. I have to know! Ah, Fulgrim is the Primarch of the Emperor's Children. And he becomes the Demon Prince of Slanesh. I fucking remembered it. In Latin, the C is pronounced as a K. So Cicero would sound like Kikero. Yeah, but nobody's going to say Alex, that. Are you ready to head up river? Awe, true to Kaisar. Yeah. What'll happen at the You'll fort? We'll be meeting face to face with the mighty Kaisar himself, founder of the Legion, conqueror of 86 tribes. To my knowledge, this is the first time Kaisar has ever summoned one of the dissolute to see him. Not even tribal chieftains receive this honor. What does that mean? Who are you calling dissolute? All who are not Legion are dissolute. They live in squalor, unrestrained by morality, lacking moderation, temper, and self-control. Their very existence is a blight on the common good. Even worse are the profligates, the subtype of dissolute one finds this side of the river. They hold themselves to be civilized, when in fact they are corrupt and self-interested. The truth will be made clear to them soon <laughs> Shut the fuck up, nerd. Oh, do you actually speak Latin? That's impressive. It's a dead language. It's impressive to have learned it. Every single thing that he just said about, like, dissolute applies to Grog. Like, I'm not, like, what he described as a profligate, but, like, every single thing that he said before he started talking about profligates described Grog 100%. Like, <laughs> it was wacky accurate. You just know the basics. 
I, I'll be honest, I didn't even know about the whole, like, C is K thing until I played this game. I always said Caesar. And then for a while I said Kaisar until I realized that, like, even though it's correct, it's one of those things where you're kind of an arrogant prick for, like, correcting people on it. And then I just kind of, I go back and forth on it now. Alright, let's fucking go meet your fucking boss. By order of Kaisar, all visitors must disarm and relinquish all banned items. I don't want to disarm. Fine. Oh, wait. Do we even have any holdout items? Wow, a silence 22, damage 7. We're not good at guns. Great. The Legion stops bandits and raiders. Homie, the Legion are raiders. <laughs> Straight up, though. My man is speaking facts. Sup, slave? The work never ends. Yeah. Ain't that the fucking truth? Is that a slave or is that the average fucking 40 hour fuck a week worker? Am I right? <laughs> Run faster, or I will throw you off the side. <laughs> oh man. Oh, that looks like a freeze. It wasn't. Some of the slaves have been spreading stories about the burned man again. Okay. Thanks for telling me, I guess. Just get robots, bro. They don't feel shit and they can carry more. Right? Like, robots are, like, easily accessible. I don't know. Knowing these fucking... Damn, every word I want to call these guys is like, you can't say it. Knowing these fucking assholes, they're, they're like, Oh, robots are, uh, profligums and we don't use them. Some of the slaves have been spreading stories. <laughs> Fuck you, Benny. So I finally get to meet the courier who's accomplished so much in so little time. That's why I summoned you here, right? I mean, a man nearly kills you, and your response is to track him across the breadth of the Mojave? You arrive on the strip and waltz into the Lucky 38 like someone left you a key under the doormat? You visit the tops, and next thing you know, the head of the chairman is fleeing the strip like a whimpering little pup. When you set your mind to something, you get results. I like that. The question is, are you ready to get started? I appreciate the... <clears throat> uh. I appreciate the praise, Kaisar. I just do things because I want to do them. I don't care about anything else. I'm proud of them. I will fucking demolish you if you don't get out of my sight. Yeah, that feels like what Grog would have said. <laughs> How may I serve your legion? Fuck off. Yeah. Just let me deal with Benny, and I'll be on my way. Benny is my prisoner. You don't deal with him unless you've dealt with me. Don't worry. You'll get the platinum chip he was carrying, and then you'll use it like I tell you to. The time is fast approaching when my legion will assault the Great Dam and invade the West. Before that happens, I want Mr. House knocked out of the game. A quick one-two punch, with you doing the punching. No, I haven't seen Whiplash. What, uh, could you describe the scene? I don't know if I'll watch it. Let me look up the uh, 2014 film. Whiplash, drama, music. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. It's about a jazz drummer. Yeah, I'll probably never watch it. You can spoil it. I have eyes and ears everywhere. It behooves me not to invade the West blind and deaf. Get it? Behooves, because your thing is a bull. It's not as though you've been keeping a low profile. Yeah, that's true. I've been murdering your men here and there everywhere I go. Down the hill at the west edge of camp is an old building. 
It was here when the fort was taken in 2270. All right, I'll look that up. Inside the building is a hatch. And inside that hatch are two steel doors that bear the sigil of the Lucky 38 Casino. Now that same sigil is on the platinum chip Benny was carrying when we captured him. Isn't that interesting? Even more interesting, there's a slot about the same size as the chip on the console that opens the hatch. So you know what I think? I think the platinum chip opens those doors. Doors that can't be pried open or drilled open or blasted open. Because all that, I tried. You know, initially I kind of thought that Grog would have aligned with Caesar. But he... <laughs> I don't think Grog appreciates anyone who just tells him like, Hey, uh, this is what you're going to do. You're going to listen to me. It's like, bro, fuck you. I eat people. I'm not scared of anything. I killed a super mutant behemoth with a sledgehammer and it never even hit me. I'm not scared. I want you to destroy whatever you find in there. And then I want you to come back here and tell me about it. So go to the building and take this fucking platinum chip with you. My legionaries will meet you there with your weapons and equipment. Talk to Benny on your way out. He knows I'm going to let you decide how he dies. Maybe you want to remind him. Oh, thank you. Thank you. This is what I came here for. What's up? God, I want to call him a fucking word that I can't say ahead, so lad, bad. Baby. I ain't blind to the humor in this situation. That's what you fucking get. That's what you get, you fucking asshole. Did I say I blame society? I know why I'm here, baby. Do you? Down to brass tacks. How'd your meet and greet with Baldy go? Grog basking in the Kanye West of the wasteland. It's so true, though. Um. He gave me the platinum chip. Sure. Baldy wants you to go down there in the bunker and destroy whatever Mr. House stashed there. Oh, you don't want to do that, baby. Whatever's down in that bunker is the key to the city called Vegas. Society! He's me for Here's real. <laughs> you go down there and you use the chip to do whatever Mr. House would have wanted you to do. And when you get back to the strip, you find Yes Man. I made it so that cat can't help but be helpful. Dig? Kozar says, I get to decide how you die. Try not to smile so wide, baby. You might break your mouth. Yeah, Baldy said you'd get to decide. So which way are you leaning? Crucifixion. Yeah, real popular around here. It's a crowd pleaser. You know, maybe part of the reason why I hate him so much is, like, he never stops being a smug fuck. You, like, ugh, fuck you, Benny. Fuck you. Ta-ta. You should be pissing your fucking stupid pants right now, you bitch. Some of the slaves have been spreading... God, I hate him. <laughs> Fucking Chandler Bing, man. Why do I get negative karma when I crucify him? For real! For real! What negative impact am I bringing into... It's a good action, it is! What negative impact am I bringing into the world by doing it? It's about time. Give me my fucking sledgehammer. Kaisar has put a lot of trust in you. Be worth it. I won't. I'll kill more of you guys once I leave this place. Some of the slaves have been spreading stories about the burned man again. Some of the slaves have been fucking spreading narratives about the burned man again. Sup? Well... well you're here ahead of schedule. 
I suppose it's just as well. This is where I wanted you to end up after all. I knew I could rely on Caesar to give you back the platinum chip. Uh, Kaiser wants me to destroy this place. Was that meant to be a shocking revelation? Of course Caesar wants it destroyed. He's afraid of what the bunker might hold, and rightly so. But you're not going to do that. You're going to do the smart thing, and work for me. <laughs> oh, great heavens. You killed a mob boss who tried to ruin New Vegas. You can't do that. Here's a war crime instead that gives you good karma. Are you talking about, like, when you fight him with the machetes in the arena? Does that really give you good karma? Fucking... Somebody on the Obsidian writing staff was like, Benny is my favorite Fallout character. He's so cool. Oh my... We made such a badass cool character. The Platinum Chip is a data storage device. I need you to manually upload the data from the chip to the facility's primary computer. There's a terminal at the other end of this facility. There's a complication. While I can broadcast to this screen, I can't control any of the facility's systems. Benny is the incels cool I guy. <laughs> deactivate its security bots, most of which appear to be active according to the status board I'm looking at. Uh, yep, I'm gonna upload the data, like you said, Mr. House. I'll be a good boy. I'm not gonna mercilessly brutalize you later. <laughs> no, couldn't be me. This is now a combat zone. You may suffer harm. Man, I tried to draw a Protectron at work the other day, but it came out looking like a fucking toe, so I called it Toebot. I didn't take a picture. I should have taken a picture. Ooh, I can unlock these things. I hate hacking, but I can do it. Uh, viva la revolution! I bet you're a full cell because you don't like Betty. I'm angry about this fake guy we've made up. I'm gonna turn off all the robots and then just break them anyway. Machines. Intruder. Invented? Invented was really close. So I wanna say it's gonna be reverted. I'm not mad. I I'm not mad. No, not at all. I'm not mad. I got it right. I don't know what anybody in the chat, anybody in the chat who says that I got that wrong is fucking lying. Saw, dude. Too. I want to steal his lynch money and fuck his mom because his father wasn't there. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad to know that Benny can rouse such universal hatred and anger. Bonk. I thought I deactivated the turrets! You son of a fucking scrock. I hate turrets, I hate turrets, I hate turrets, I hate turrets! Fatherless behavior. Damn, deactivating those protectrons was a bad idea. Should I... Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're not gonna deactivate the Protectrons. Cause... We got full experience for killing the, uh... 
Wow. Oh my god, whatever you say. Yep, mm hmm. I'll do whatever you want, Mr. House. Hostile target. I. <laughs> We're gonna leave the Protectrons active. Wait, they give us five experience either way? I fucked up. Oh, I fucked up. Damn it. It's gonna be revolution again, right? Fuck, this is way harder than it was last time. Okay, never mind. Gold? Why would I carry gold? It's heavy. I'm totally gonna grab all the gold, cut off Father Elijah's head, and sneak all the gold out with me, by the way. Why wouldn't I? Holy fuck, that fucking uh, Wojak meme <laughs> with Father Elijah. Like, WHERE IS THAT MOTHERFUCKER?! <laughs> fuck, I can't believe I reloaded. I thought killing them because they weren't hostile was giving me less experience because they didn't, like, count as enemies. I feel like we've learned a lesson, though. I guess anything that you kill... The fact that you killed it is going to give you the amount of experience you would get. I kind of always just, for some reason, I don't know where I got this idea from. Obviously, it's wrong. I thought that, like, when you killed something, if it didn't count as a hostile, like, you were getting just five experience every time. Sierra Madre be like, it's about letting go as I walk out with 200,000k or 200,000 worth of gold in my inventory. It's funny too, because it's like, what, what, there's no reason. Like, like, uh, you know, like you can't sell it all. What do you, you don't even need the money for anything. It's literally just to piss all over fucking Father Elijah's ideals. Which I will happily and gladly do. Okay, I see one, two, three, four, five words with four attempts. Caravans was really close. So, factions. See, sometimes I can use my doo doo brain to solve puzzles. Alright, well, we learned that nothing we did mattered, and I mean, at least we didn't lose a whole lot of pro progress. Yo, I just saw one of these guys fall through the fucking floor. What are they even shooting at? What's going on in here? <laughs> no Venus. No Venus robot. Oh, well, the fucking turret's turned off this time. I wish I could piss on Benny's corpse like Postal 2. I've never played any of the Postal games. Jesus, I mean, after the... The Grog playthrough is basically a Postal fucking... is basically playing Postal. Racism online. <laughs> Race. Racism online. We don't do the robot voice often, but any chance, right? Your racism detected. Activating the sensors. Insert the platinum chip and install the Mark II upgrade software. It went from Protectron to G.I. Joe. I actually didn't have a joke. I was just going to say something about letting the Protectron fuck me, but I kind of flubbed it.
Is this lay Nazi imagery? Your work here is done. We're not going to say anything about what just happened. You've carried out Kaisar's will. You fucking... That's about as much rads as eating 15,000 bananas. I, yeah, I don't know why you've got to be constantly irradi irradiated while you're in there, but then, like, it's only one per second. It's not, like, a meaningful number. I gotta chase this buzz. I'm letting too much time go in between these drinks. I'm not gonna be drunk anymore. Let me stir at the ground while I move. Hello. Hey, doggy. You're my favorite customer. You ever watched The Room? What a fucking movie. What a fucking movie. Oh, hi, Mark. Can I fix his fucking stupid medbot? Primarily, however, the. Yep, auto dock is useless. Huh, pick that fucking book up, idiot. I felt the ground shake a while ago. I'll take that as a. Johnny and Fall at New Vegas done. would be hilarious. I agree. There are rewards for doing as I command. Today, your reward is vengeance. You get to decide how Benny dies. CRUCIFY HIM! Let him know what you've decided. Thank you, Kaisar. Wait, what did he just give me? A machete? I don't want it. So, baby, what did you find down there? Uh, can I... Yeah, I'm not even gonna fucking tell him. None of your business. I want you to die without any satisfaction. I see. And how's that gonna happen? <laughs> You'll be crucified for my amusement. Don't do that, baby. Not crucifixion. I could be up there for days with those twisted creeps laughing and pointing. Crucifixion! Hang the heretic! Kill the profligate! Pass the time thinking over your mistakes. You sick, vindictive fuck! Hey! Hey, that's how the cars roll. Ring-a-ding-ding, -ding, baby. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure you found Benny's demise pleasing. Oh, but very pleasing, enemy, Caesar. There are a few things more satisfying. Let's press on, shall we? As I was telling you before, I want Mr. House out of the picture. You have an interest in his death, too. If he knows that you destroyed his gadgets beneath the fort, he will strike back. You know where to find him. It's good How to be bad. Dies. More like it's good to be grog. So here's the thing. I'm gonna kill Mr. House anyway. And I feel like grog... Like, grog didn't give a shit about the Legion before, right? Actually, didn't grog fight back against the Legion? I'm gonna have to go back over old footage. Didn't grog fight back against the Legion because he was... He had amnesia? He wouldn't have cared that they crucified a bunch of people. He had amnesia. He was trying to be a good person. And fucking Caesar being like, oh, hunting people down across the wastelands is pretty cool. Killing your enemies, that's based. I don't know, guys. Now that we met Caesar, it kind of seems like Grog would kind of like him. Because Grog got his memory back and he doesn't care about being a good person anymore. I don't know. <laughs> it's called an auto doc. As the name suggests, it's an automated physician, more or less. He can treat broken bones, cuts, punctures, scrapes. Sometimes I bestow its use upon someone I favor. Makes for a powerful gift in a culture that forbids painkillers and is largely ignorant of medical science. But aren't you the one that's propagating a based man in a cringe world can make all the difference? <laughs> It's true, it's true. You know what, we're gonna let Caesar think that we're working for him for a little Good. longer. Cause we wanna kill Mr. House too! He has inside the Lucky 38. But if you can find a way of catching him off guard, do so. Oh shit, level up time. 
So should we level up our speech so that we can talk to Cass? We could do speech or barter. They're the same to us. 80, 80. We could level these up, but we don't need to. Let's bring this up to 30. Grog woke, Caesar broke. I agree. Start working on barter and unarmed. We'll bring science and lockpick up eventually, but there's always books for those things. Oh, we need to bring them up to 85. Because now, if we use a magazine for either one, we can get into something that has a difficulty of 100. There we go. Smart. Anything new for level 24 before we go back through old perks? Nope! <laughs> Can't even see anything level 24. Are there level 24 perks? There are. There's... Two. Slayer. Which increases melee and unarmed attack speed, but only goes off of unarmed. Because, you know, fuck me, right? So it's a good thing that the next things we're going to bring up are barter and unarmed because we want that unarmed 90 because swinging our weapons 30% faster sounds like a really good idea. But for now, we need to look back through old perks. No, 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 well, maybe. No, 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 no. We especially don't want adamantium skeleton if we think about taking eye for an eye later. That's new. You do a large amount of additional damage through enemy blocks with all melee weapons and unarmed weapons. Ooh, I like the sound of that a lot. Let's see if there's anything that's better. If not, we're taking that. I do want heavy weight. I want heavy weight at some point. Because that'll make our super sledge go from 20 pounds to 10 pounds. Higher chance to score a critical hit. We want finesse. Fifteen percent against the poor. Nah, okay, so it is between finesse and unstoppable force. What do you think, Ledge? Higher chance to critical hit or deal more damage if somebody tries to block against us? It's actually 15%, not even 5%. Maybe I said 5. Unstoppable force. I agree. If we don't see anything we like at level 26, we'll take uh, finesse. Let me look ahead real quick. Oh, it looks like there's a good number of level 26 perks. Lesson learned, which we can't take because we don't have 6 int. Who cares about experience gain rate? Nerves of Steel regenerate action points faster. Not bad. Tunnel Runner. We don't have enough agility. Movement speed is increased while sneaking in light armor. We don't wear light. 7 int. Can't take it. Alright. Unstoppable force. Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay. Bye, guys. So where do they crucify Benny? We still need a piece of him. We need to acquire Slim Jim's cock. Is it going to be... There it is. <laughs> Sup? Happy now, you twisted bum? Well, I ain't going to give you the satisfaction. What does that mean? Are you going to kill yourself? Scram, will ya? I got nothing to say to you. I got nothing to say to you. <laughs> I can just punch his knees. Yeah, 100%. We're here for Benny, man. I'm just gonna punch you in the fucking knees until you die, bitch. How much health do you have left? Jesus. They really let you have your whole fucking health bar, huh? Yeah, you don't like that, do you? Give me the meat! Thank you, Benny. Oh, we don't get his gun. Shit, we don't get his gun this way. Who cares? Grog doesn't use guns. He's got a good gun, though. Uh, that's not the way out? I thought that was the way out. That's totally the way out. How do I get out of here? What the fuck? Slaves aren't much of a challenge. So you're the visitor I've heard some of the lead. How do I get out of here? The arena. The fuck, that's the door. That's 100% the door out. Right? Okay, it's this one. True to Kaiser. Awe. Awe. You've received your confiscated equipment. I don't... You know what I received? I received a cock for my Slim Jim. How many barrel cactus fruit do I have? Just the one? I need more if I didn't only have one. Fuck. These look like... Oh no, it's a little group of three. I need something that looks like fucking ball. I can give him a cock and balls. Alright, Benny. Your final resting place. The final disrespect that I can inflict upon you. You can be Slim Jim's cock. Put Slim Jim's leg back in place. Fix his fucking. <laughs> yeah, baby. Kind of splay his legs out a little bit. He's he's showing off. Actual deranged behavior. <laughs> It's so true. You know, Slim Jim, I'm gonna do that like thing that white people do when they see a Buddha statue and like rub its belly. We're gonna just uh give him a little a little kiss on his cock. And one for you, baby Bratwurst. I'm sorry about what you had to see here today. <laughs> fuck. Why did I do this? <laughs> what the fuck? I want to apologize to everyone. <laughs> oh man. Let's put away that machete. 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 Rub the cock meat, bro. It's for good luck. <laughs> we don't need to put anything in the meat bathtub. Oh, we can put Benny's suit. 
in here. Oh man. Oh man. I don't think we can. Where, where do we go from here? Well, we succeeded in our revenge. We gave Slim Jim a cock made out of Benny meat. I'm ashamed of myself, honestly. I think that's it. Like, what else can we do? That's like the most depraved thing we've ever done, maybe. God damn. Yeah, I think that's it. Like, uh, I, I think I'm gonna, like, we've, you should be stopped and executed publicly. I agree. I agree. I think, uh, the momentum, we're gonna keep the momentum going. We're gonna play this again before, uh, before the weekend is up. But that's enough. That's enough of that. I wanna thank everybody who stopped by and watched. Um, this was an affront against God and all of his creations. Um, Ledge is right. I need to be publicly executed for what I've done here today. Um, but hey, that's, that's all she wrote, right? Uh, yeah, that's a wrap. We're going to call it here. Fuck, man. I can't, I, I honestly can't believe what I did here today. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.